Testing, testing. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Was I sleeping with the war body pillow? Yes, I yes I was. <laughs> yeah, I think I I'm talking too quiet. I'll I'll just I'll just crank all the way up. I guess it's easier. Just begun, but it's, it's going fine. Yeah, I have a PowerPoint to start the stream off with, so I'm going to try to do that. something really fast so I have enough energy to get the stream going. How does this work? Uh, if you don't heal the damage, yeah, I've mod. Uh, 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 there's there's a PowerPoint that demonstrates everything. Don't worry about it. Things are still healed between maps. No. Late? Yeah, I I am late. Yes, I am. But I'm I'm here right now. All damage, fucking hell, l l let me explain. Not making these weird assumptions, okay. Alright, hello everyone, welcome to... Fire Emblem 8, but all damage is permanent. Okay, l let me l let me start again. Hello everyone, Delvin here. I have a PowerPoint presentation today to... And introduce the rules and can see in my run. Fire Emblem 8, but all the damage is permanent. The idea came to me in a fit of madness, uh, as all my good ideas do. And so, yeah, let's, let's begin. So, Fire Emblem 8, pretty easy game. So, let's do something to make it a little bit harder. In Fire Emblem games, characters will recover from wounds via healing magic or items or by resting on forts, as if by magic. But this is unrealistic, right? Imagine getting your arm cleaved in half. You, you, you can't really cure that with some bed rest and a nice drink. Realistically, wounds are not really recoverable within the span of like a campaign, for sure. If you're wounded severely, that wound's probably going to stick with you. Clearly, if the game is not an exact depiction of reality, then it is bad. That is sarcasm, because most of the people on the internet are incapable of uh, detecting that, by the way. Everyone loves Fire Emblem because it is realistic. It is a realistic depiction of battle and not a fantasy abstraction, tile-based strategy game. So, here's the conceit. All damage is dealt to max HP. If you get hit with damage, it goes to your max HP. You're fucked. This also happens if you're hit in a cutscene, too. Seth takes damage in a cutscene at the start of the map, and he goes from 30 HP to 13 because he gets hit by Volter. So he starts with 13 HP. 
So Seth's, Seth's wound that he talks about is actually still there. He is still wounded, and he will remain wounded for the entire campaign. Wounders aren't drinks. They are applied topically to the skin. Uh, no, I made a whole video about how the depiction of that was largely inconsistent. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the game. It's, it's, I think you, you, you didn't, you, you, you didn't, you watched the video but had the wrong takeaway for that from it. Anyway, healing items don't work. Uh, so we, instead of a vulnerary, we have a uh, homeopathic vulnerary. Uh, it, it's 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 ext it's extremely diluted herbs that does not do anything. You apply it to your wound. It to who 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 knew that applying a salve doesn't result in uh your arm being cut off, being uh put back on, right? I have adjusted all the healing items to have uh to into their homeopathic varieties. Essential oils. <laughs> Next, stabs don't work either. It turns out the entire healing industry in Fire Emblem 8 uh, is a fraud. So heal stabs don't actually work. They they just pretend that they work. Can you still sell them for gold? Yes, they are very fancy sticks. Basically, like it's like it's like like it's like you don't like uh the videos of the 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 people who are live action role playing shouting lightning bolt. This is like that, except they're shouting heal. It's still, it also it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> it's all a big trick and pony show. Can he still warp? All other stabs still work. Yes, magic is real, just not healing. <laughs> Healing terrain also doesn't work. I've manually adjusted every every uh t terrain type to not give any passive healing. So like this means that you don't heal and enemies don't heal either. Enemies also suffer from the same effects. They also suffer permanent HP damage. How do Gorgon eggs work in that one chapter? I think uh they still work as normal. I haven't adjusted anything that would affect like HP gain like that. Next, uh, this applies to both, uh, both uh, allied units and also enemy units. So green units, also this also happens to them. And uh, enemy units, this also happens to them. Note that Ross starts off with like 5 HP in the cutscene. So he's kind of fucked. Nosferatu? I think Nosferatu works as long... Uh, the way this works, is, I think the patch works, is that it applies the max HP damage at the end of combat. So if you restore HP during combat, I think you can actually be fine. But <laughs> if you ever miss your nose, like this might work for those Ratu, but if you ever miss your nose Ratu, you still take the damage. <laughs> so I I'm I'll be playing with Iron Man rules. So this is the usual: no loading from saves, no restarting from saves. Dead character stays dead. Game over, start from the beginning, etc. I think it's it just it's just necessary to make these challenges in any way interesting. Also, no Tower of Oni. I think it's, it's just better here if I don't use it. I'm not sure how useful it would be because uh, if I you still take damage there unless you're very careful. Like you have like a Seth with, with more than HP than the enemy has uh, attack. But even then, you can still kind of get really carelessly shipped down, right? Rune Sword grinding, though. In summary, yeah, I don't know. Let's see if this is possible. I have, I have, I've only routed out the first few chapters just to see if I could actually do anything. I mean, I, yeah, you can. So, all right. Also, uh, some acknowledgments. Uh, I posted this on Twitter, and then the guy who made Iron Emblem made the mod really quick and beat and DM'd me. So, uh, thanks to him for that. Uh, go check out Iron Emblem. I will show it. And thanks for this this minor amount of help that I got. Well, the stream would not be possible without it. Yeah, there are advantages to being a YouTuber. I I, I can just shout on Twitter, and then people do do stuff for you. Amazing. All right, get started. So, as you can see on the right bar, I have a health status for every character. So if if they are hurt, 
then their HP will go down. And I will track it live. Now, since Seth is wounded in the cutscene, we have to watch the cutscene now. Can he still get HP level? Well, I think so. I haven't really tested it. And I think stat boosters still work, but I'm, I really don't know. I'm limited by the rules of the mod. If if you still skip the cutscene, the stat will still only have 13 HP. Yes, he does. He always starts game with with uh, the with, uh, 13 HP. All right, I just. Oh, this is actually... I, I loaded a different save state here. I didn't actually play this far. This, these are old saves that I use to test t test certain things. Actually, let, let's erase all the data. Yeah. Fun, fun thing for mods, is for ROM hacks, is that you can just lo keep loading the same save file. Alright, let's go. But yeah, and uh, for, for everyone who are celebrating it, uh, happy Thanksgiving. I think level ups can boost HP if you get them at the end of a chapter, and then you end the chapter before the max HP thing kicks in. All right, let's skip the intro. Let's just let's get get to the part where um, Seth takes damage. I also, I also try to restrain myself and not use fast forward Vulture to make it easier to watch. Oh shit, it's Vulture. What's he gonna do? Oh no. Seth! That is minus 17 permanent HP. Can't wait. Seth has been wounded. Enough bullshit. We've all seen these cutscenes a million times. All right, let's uh, let's turn all let's let's make some settings. Turn off auto -cursor. So in chapter. <laughs> In Chapter 1 of Fire Emblem Ape, all damage is permanent. We have Seth who has 13 HP and Erica who has 16 HP. Uh, as, you, as you can see, vulnerabilities are homeopathic here. In your text boxes, the green. Alright, there are different window colors. Nah, I prefer blue. Fine boom, fine boom, yes. So. Well, don't, here, here's what happens when you use Vulnerary. It's, it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> That's what happens when you set a Vulnerary to, to, to zero HP. <laughs> That's the... 
I think it treats as damage. <laughs> but yeah, now that I've entered the turn, Seth's max HP has reduced down to 13. I think actually, uh, I probably should have started. Actually, no. So yeah, now I have to be very careful with all my moves because if I take any damage, it's gonna last until the end of the game. As such, uh, I think what I will do is in order to avoid any as much damage as possible. Wait, this guy roll HP? What the fuck? I can't one shot him. Ah, damn it. So updates every turn and updates after every action. So I think what I would do is just to be extremely safe. Reset? I guess I could reset this early. Place a Leer next to him. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll try to hide in the forest to avoid hits. <laughs> if I use a steel sword, he has very little hit, so it should be fine. If I rescue, I think I lose too much stat too many stats to make it worth it. But yeah, let's let's enemy phase over here. We enemy Yes, we, we dodged, we dodged. Very good, very good. We're, we're, we're okay. This is only one damage, so we should be fine. If we're hit, I'll be very sad, though. Oh, wait, I should have equipped the Silver Lance with the one shot here. Oops. Wait, I, I should have just attacked for the, the, the one shot. So many blunders. So I think if I stay if I stay far enough away, I'm pretty sure you can one shot this guy with with the with the silver lance. Yeah, that's the one shot. You should be fine. As long as you don't miss a 78. We're good. Okay. Prologue completed. No damage taken aside from the 17 damage. Princess, are you injured? No, but Seth is injured. He looks so pale. Seth is looking pretty pale here. All right. That's the prologue done. Grind of Void support? I will. Don't you worry. I feel like summoners and phantoms would be pretty important. Funny thing is, is that uh, phantoms count as their own unit. <laughs> so actually, it doesn't actually work. Phantoms are really, really bad in this run because they count as having zero HP, meaning that, that they die after any combat, even one where they don't take damage. And they die immediately after moving. And they're kind of bugged in that way because if you have zero HP, you are removed from the map, but you don't count as being dead. So the uh, summon effect, what it does is you can't do anything. You summon the phantom, but then the phantom doesn't do anything. And if you move it, it disappears and you can't summon anymore. So phantoms are not overpowered because they don't work. <laughs> All right, so we have a soldier here. It's important that we don't take any damage. So this guy has, this guy has twelve damage, and Seth has. What do you know? Eleven defense, not enough to be invincible here. This guy has fourteen damage. I'm thinking what I could do is I could. I think I just silver lance these guys. Or, I think, oh wait, I can also uh, enemy phase on a forest. That way, I, I, I'm not likely to take a hit.
Yeah, there's no way I'm t taking a hit on a 7% hit. Same thing for the, uh, the, uh, the soldier. The forest should reduce his hit to nothing. How do you train Zafus? I don't think... I'm not sure if you can. You can't use heal stabs because they don't work. The soldier doesn't move? Oh, very nice. So in chapter in chapter one of FEA with with uh, <laughs> with permanent damage, we have we get Franz with 20 HP and Gilliam with 25 HP. I think they're fine. Uh, Gilliam especially is pretty good just because you know, and nine defense, but it's not really good enough to not take chip damage. So I think the plan is. Keep luring these guys out. The main concern I have is that I might ex so I think I can one shot this guy with a silver lance. I'll do it. And I think Gilliam takes like one damage from this guy on the, on on the fort, so I will let him take the hit there. Because he's trapped other he's trapped anyway. Bronze escapes, so he takes no damage. And uh, I move a little bit up here. With with Erica. Okay, that guy doesn't attack for some reason. What what? what why doesn't he attack? Wait, why? Huh? Why didn't he attack? That soldier's always weird? Hmm. I guess it's got weird AI. Alright. Let's go for a Seth kill. I think what I do here is I move Gilliam away and I attack from the fort. Because even though it's like... I take zero damage this way, so it's good. And this also lets me enemy phase this Axe Spider with, with, with a minimal amount of uh, chance of being hit. This is an Iron Man? Yes, this is an Iron Man. Alright. Come on, let's go. Ah, one damage. No way. <laughs> 11 hit. No way. Got a few Seth Moral kills? I mean, yeah, that's every run. This run especially, because... Well, not really. But I think now I try to go from a... I try to attack from a nice brush. And again, take fewer hits. Actually, wait. I actually have a lot of time now. So I might as well grind up the Erica Sport. I'm thinking uh, I, wa I might want to go for the Garcia support too. Fe8 set supports. I think I, older I, I either go for Garcia or I think or maybe I go for Fran support here just because he's here. I think I might as well just go for our Fran support just because he's available. Because I want to minimize the enemy hit rates when I attack the boss. I'll go here and I'll spam in turn. Oh shit! Oh fuck! No! No! I, I went too fast! Oh shit! Oh no! Bronze! Fuck! I forgot they spawn. Uh, I moved too far in! Ah shit! Yeah, Franz took like a shit ton of damage there. Holy crap. Uh, I forgot. I forgot about the reinforcement zone. It was. It's like exactly this line. I thought I had a bit more leeway, but uh, I fucked up. Now Franz at six HP. Forever, he is crippled. Oh boy. Uh, this is recoverable. Well, it is, I think. 
So yeah, I can clean these guys up pretty, pretty, pretty just fine. So Erica takes out one with the hundred percent hit. Franz kills with his six HP. Six HP Franz. Let's go. And I kill with Silver Lance to ensure I don't take any damage. Now I can do supports. What heals come useless? Heals are useless. Practice of medicine is for barbarians. Oh wait, what was that dialogue? Is that you, Franz? I'm relieved to see you're still in one piece. <laughs> is he though? He's got six HP. We now have a uh, C support. Oh, wait. Oh, that wasn't the support. That was the talk conversation. And now we have the set support. Set. Look, the wound has closed, but has not yet fully healed. Very appropriate. What, what made you think of this? The fact that you have 13 HP? Alright. So these guys over here, how much damage do they do? 10 damage. 10 damage. So these guys can be safely lured and defeated on the forest. Because they do zero damage. Haha! <laughs> Got him. Same with this guy. Only does 10 damage. Can be lured on the, on the horse. Even most of us wouldn't take damage, that is true. But I think I want to feed his Seth XP. Try to get his, his, his dodge rate up. So, let's try to figure out how to kill the boss. It might be a bit tough. So, if I attack with the Silver Lance, I, I want to stack my support bonuses to avoid being hit. All, all things considered, this is pretty good. Uh, I want to see if there are any any other options though. Rapier crit though. Yeah, I don't think I think I could probably do without Erica being on three HP for the rest of the run. Thank you very much. We have no we have no other options. We just gotta go for it. I think. Yeah, just gotta cross our fingers and hope Seth doesn't take damage. He even has Javelin? No, he doesn't. Not in this chapter. Alright, let's go. Come on! Get his ass! Come on, dodge, dodge, dodge! Yes! <laughs> yeah! We are invincible. Where my HP doesn't have a space? Oh, I gotta correct that. HP level up, let's go! So I think as long as you don't end the action, and I see this right now, I can get the HP level up. I think I get it. 
gold. Let's go. So now we can check our HP values. Uh, oh shit. Okay, I might as well just enter anyway. Pretty sure Seth is now at 14 HP. All right, so Seth, yep, his HP has filled up. I think this, I'm not sure if this happens. I think you have to end the map with like some empty health to get the health back because otherwise you will get reduced back down to uh, your current health for max health purposes. So I think Ross starts off with damage taken in the cutscene. So he's gonna have no HP very soon. But I think we have to we use the, same, the usual strat of rescuing him. And also note that that force don't actually heal. Okay, let's take him, drop him, and then talk to him. Oh, I fucked up. I messed up. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get the talk combo yet. Oh, next turn, I guess. Garcia? Oh, don't get hit, don't get hit! Yes! Garcia has not gotten hit. Garcia still has 28 HP. Ross <laughs> uses the voter ring. And as you can see, the enemies also have reduced max HP. It's very nice. Now let's, let's go and rescue Garcia. Talk to Ross. Drop Garcia, as usual. Out Garcia. And now I think we might as well go grab items. Here we get a uh, red gem. So as you can see, Motor cannot heal because heal stabs are disabled. He, 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 you can see he doesn't have the uh, the green the green icons, and as such, he has no way of actually doing anything. He's useless. We have an elixir, which, uh, which as you can see, is a powerful quote unquote solution that restores no HP. <laughs> Do you still get XP from them? No, you can't use them. They are, they actually cannot be used. I have disabled them entirely. So, I think what I want to do is I want to build Garcia supports with Seth also. Because Garcia gives Seth uh, a void. I want to build supports as much as possible just to get extra void. So I think what I do now is... I have a javelin now. I can go for one shots, which I should do. But I can also now um. So let's 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 stack up our uh let's let's stack up our supports. And we can kill this guy. The uh, actually look at this guy does zero damage to me. Very nice. But uh, just to be safe, I'll go to the armory and buy an iron. An iron sword, and they use it to kill the guy. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I forgot that buying items. Ah, damn it! I forgot that buying items disables the shop. <laughs> disables your attack action. That was really dumb. This guy does 15 damage. I guess I can. Uh... Oh shit! Is Franz gonna die? Yeah, Franz is in kill range right now. Let's try to block. Uh, Ross is pretty useless. Let's have Ross also lure. He goes for Ross. Ross is dead. I think Ross actually should have gone down to... Uh... Should 
actually have gone down to 5 HP first. Now he has 0 HP. He's dead. I'm gonna lose Garcia of Ross Dice. Oh shit, you're right. I think you're right. It has. <laughs> and I still get it. To... Oh damn it, that's bad. I lost Garcia, that's pretty bad. Let's move up and retreat with everyone else. Yeah, I think Garcia just leaves if Ross dies, right? I think he only leaves if he's a uh, he's a green unit. I don't remember. Actually, I'm gonna look this up. This is actually really important. Does Garcia leave? He, I don't think he leaves, right? I mean, very few people get him. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Erica just got a chance for half her HP. Yeah, you, you guys are lying to me. He he's he 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 joins anyway. I think, right? I think he, all this does is skip the conversation. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he still stays around if he's blue. I see nothing about leaving conditions if he's a blue unit. Let's see these guys. 14 damage. 15 damage. 15 damage. And Seth has... Alright. I think what we gotta do... Uh, I'm, I'm not in range of... I'm not in reach of the fort. I think here I back up a little. But this guy doesn't do enough damage to hurt me, right? 11. No, he does not. I'm not in reach of the... Extra defense... How do I do this? Um, I guess we can toss a javelin and then rescue away. I think that works. I put triangle though. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to rescue and run away. Wait, I don't think that works. Oh, yeah, I think uh, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. Let's move everyone up to enemy phase. Oh, they're going. Ah, shit! There goes the pure water. Hey, that is a pure water, right? It's a bit of a shame because the pure water could actually be pretty useful because it lets you take zero damage from mages. Um. Oh well. I think now, uh. Some units are probably not even worth training, like Vanessa. Like, imagine. He's gonna have 17 HP forever. Other than that, Garcia is very nice right now because he can hand axe. Oh, wait, look at this guy's 8 HP? When did that happen? It's an Eric kill. Or maybe. Do I feed Gilliam? I feel like getting him to a good good point is kind of going to be pretty hard. Alright, let's just... I feel like giving Eric a kill is like literally pointless. Maybe she can get like an HP level up? I don't know. I 
Hmm. Nice. Her cousin has gotten level up. I think it goes away if I don't like if I do anything with her. Oh wait. That works. Wait, what? I thought I fixed. I thought I'm rocket staff is not being able to do anything. I need to fix that. I don't think that... Does it work? Oh, it actually does, huh? I didn't... I didn't change it correctly. Oh, wow. How does it work? Oh, I think it's acting like it's like a boner or something. Oh, I thought I thought that was changed. Oh well. Hmm. I don't know what's going on there. I thought I I thought I. I anyway, we do have 17 HP. I thought. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I think that's fine. Did you secure the level up level up HP? I guess. I don't know. But I, th I thought I actually specifically disabled heal stabs specifically. Anyway, so uh, all right. Let's try to figure out how to kill these guys. I think we can go for a javelin kill on the boss. If we miss, we're in trouble, but we probably won't. Very good. Alright, and now we can annex this guy and then try to kill him? I think what I can do is I can add an axe and then try to use the javelin a bit. How's Erica fair here? I take hits if I if I uh This guy's gonna hit me no matter what, huh? It's a good chance decent chance to hit no matter what. Raid past the javelin to France. It's, that's an option. Oh wait, yeah, I could... Uh, motor's move isn't good enough. Yeah, I, here's what I can do. Gilliam is, is very, has very low hit rates anyways. Let's pass the Javelin to Gilliam. Not, do, do not attack with him. Pass the Javelin to Franz. Throw a Javelin. Come on. Nice! Then pass the javelins and motor. And then pass the javelin to Vanessa. Throw from Vanessa. We got it. <laughs> and only one and only one person was killed. I think yeah, if if Ross dies, then it just skips the cutscene, but Garcia still sticks around. And now we can buy javelins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. As a tradition, we just buy like eight javelins. Could be a hand axe or two. So. It's very important that we avoid damage, so I'm going to, yeah, just focus on using javelins mainly. And Naomi is an archer, so we should get her soon. So uh, I think I need to trade the hat hatchet over to um, Garcia, because Ross is dead and he cannot use it because he is dead. 
I think we, we might as well buy some bows for Naomi. No, we don't have mo we don't have any bows here. All right, let's start chapter three. Let's go. Good, actually, this way HP level up stick. Yeah, I might, I guess, I might as well keep it like this. Otherwise, I think, otherwise, I think the, the HP level, level ups expire, which is uh, not great. So here, in chapter three of F8, we get Naomi, who was an archer. I think this is, it's pretty good to have an archer because they have high accuracy chip damage, meaning that she can uh. I think training Navy is pretty useful here. So we might as well. This guy can't, can't counter attack, so we might as well just do damage to him. Note that um, his enemies also take max HP damage. Chip damage is more valuable because they can't heal. This also means that against bosses is also more valuable because you can uh, chip them down. But at the same time, it means I cannot do infinite grind strats very easily. Let's try really hard, which I might be able to. I think Comb shows up soon, so I can talk to him. He opens the door, but I can talk to him, so, and so he doesn't do anything crazy. Right, but here, what I'm gonna do is before uh, I proceed is I'm going to spam supports. These, these guys are not uh, do not move. I want the uh, I want to max out my supports on Seth for a Franz, Erica, Garcia support. In doing this, he gets like a ton of avoid. I think he gets like seven avoid from um from Erica B, seven avoid from Franz B, and uh five avoid from Garcia C. And I want the uh I really want the XP the supports right now. It's okay if like it's it's not optimal in the long run because Franz could die anyway, and then I can I could go for a maximum avoid Garcia. Because if units die, your supports are cleared. This is for maximum short-term benefit at the moment. And the reason for this is I want to try dodge grinding the boss. Because if I can get to um, the point where I take... Have zero, this guy has zero hit. Then what I can do is I can just get infinite XP on this map. You only have two supporters max in GB, GBA Fire. No, you can have three. What the fuck are you talking about? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. You're extremely incorrect. How can someone be so wrong? Okay. Let's have Naomi attack. It is five levels, yeah. And then we can we can get give her levels just by doing chip damage like this. Key, very nice. Let's break these. Let's break these walls. Oh, I forgot to give Franz a javelin. Guess he can grab one of the many ones I have from Erica. And yes, all these bone arrays are useless.
So now what we can do is this guy, this guy over here, he has a hand axe for 14 damage. So I would like to avoid that if possible. I think I will take like three damage from this guy. If he hits me. So what I could do is I could just stack up my avoids though, my my supports. I think supports. Oh wait, supports give minus damage also. Hmm. So if I get my other support in here, we should be fine. I think with all these supports, it's minus, minus three damage. Because uh, all all is. These supports, the way they work, I think it's, um, let me see. Let me, let me check that supports very, really fast again. So Seth takes, um, yeah, Seth gets one defense from, er two defense from Erica, two defense from Franz, and zero defense from Garcia. Okay, <laughs> probably should have gone for <laughs> more defense then. If I do it like this, then Seth takes zero damage. Very nice. And this guy also does, does zero damage. That's that's great. So we can uh we can kill this guy with Seth. It takes zero damage. The javelin. Very nice. We're doing good. Archer should get himself killed. Very nice. Maybe he can kill this guy for XP. Oh, I just realized I can do I can do I can do a steel loop with Colm and get him to max level. I can break this guy's weapon with Seth and then get Combs level 20. And this way, Comb, Comb can dodge tank. Yo! Yo! Comb Gaming? Are we Comb Gaming today? Oh shit. Alright. It, it's time to Comb Gaming today. By loads of depraved gamers. My little depraved gamers? No, that's not what I said. You're, you're making it sound really weird. I said fellow depraved gamers. Hey, 18 HP. Let's go. He has leveled up HP. So I think if I end turn, it should be fine. But if I like move, 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 the HP will go down. If I heal, I can top her off. I think that's okay. It's okay to have the healing just for this purpose. Because I can't. I don't see any other ways this, that you can actually heal. everyone in here so we can get the uh, support to kill this guy with zero damage taken. Very nice. But doesn't kill give XP. I think I changed it so that stabs don't count as a staff. They count as an item. I think. And I thought that would be enough to make them not work. But it seems like they just, they just don't give XP. to open all the shit. This is not interesting, so I will just do it.
Now, uh, this guy, I think I can lure him. It's Seth. I just take, I just, I just take all of Seth's stuff, and he should take no damage from him. In the Gilliam, Gilliam should have enough defense to not take any damage. I'll, I'll rescue drop him over. I can I think I can lure this guy. And same I can also use Gilliam also. This, this guy should attack for zero damage. I can do this until his weapon breaks. Then I can bully him. Oh this oh oh shit, this also gives me a ton of ton of HP of uh also gives me a ton of uh, free HP. Also, uh, I, I need to get in range to secure it before it locks in. I think what I could do is I can rescue Seth, block with Gilliam, and I think this works. Yeah, if I think if I as long as I manage to get the heal in before a combat occurs, it works. Drop here, and I heal to secure the HP level up. Very nice. 15 HP. Does anyone else level up HP? Oh yeah, Naomi has 18 now. But yeah, I, I can let this guy exhaust himself and run out of weapons. On Gilliam. Or maybe I, I do it on set to give him more XP. That might be more worth it, actually. I let him bring his weapon on Seth this way. Yeah, this should work. Once he runs out of weapons, he'll, he'll, he won't attack. Which means no risk of max HP damage. How many? Ah, uh, a few more. Oh wait, I just realized, if I stack supports in, I can get more XP from this. That was a unintentional blunder. No missed XP gains. Yeah, this should give me a bit more XP. Not that much. But every bit counts. Yeah, so the sword, Thief Sword is break, broken. And now what I can do is I can trade over all of these crappy, useless vulnerabilities that are like... There's, they're just water. There's like beeswax and water. And, and now this guy will go for a steal. I can steal my- I can steal my shit. What? Oh fuck, he's faster than Colm! Oh god- god damn it! <laughs> damn it! This guy rode speed, normally- Sometimes- ah, shit. This guy normally has- sometimes has 10 speed. I'll have you know. But I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up really bad. I guess I can try to get some XP this way. And I can feed some kills to him. Shit! He stole my lockpick! Uh, oh, damn it. Okay. Um. That's bad. Ah, damn it. <laughs> that's so stupid. 
Oh, what a silly blunder. He stole my elixir. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what I gotta do is I gotta lock him down. Then what I gotta do is I gotta... I gotta pin him down. And then I need to get... I need to get Colm a speed level up. Otherwise, this guy will steal my entire net worth. So this guy over here... These guys have 14 damage and a hand axe. Let me figure out what do chip damage. Actually, I think you actually can't chip those guys, basically. I can steal this guy's stuff. I guess, for 10 XP. Then I don't get the kill very easily. So I think what I will do here is I have Seth Leer. I do a Seth Leer, Leer with, against that guy. I guess Comb just blocks here for now. So he looks like I keep stealing, okay. I think what I do is to conserve my character uses, I block like this. This way, this guy cannot leave, regardless. So he just get stuck against the wall, and I can block him in more economically. Because I need to use my characters here. So, um... This guy does 18 damage. Okay, that guy's pretty scary. This guy does less damage. I think what I can do here is I want to... I can lure this guy out kill him with a javelin. But I don't want to kill him. I guess I have to though, huh? This is tricky now because I don't want to take any damage if possible. Alright, let's, let's, let's get my weapons out of the convoy. We just hold out a sword and break their weapon. If you hold out a sword, then uh, oh yeah, I can break this guy's weapon. You're right. If I have support bonuses, I can break that guy's weapon. I think what I do here is I break open this wall. Hear me out. Erica goes here. Er Erica, the squad. Erica, Franz, Garcia, they move in. Like this. And then I can lure this guy out and not this guy. So I can hold out a sword, you're right. And then dodge tank this guy. The only the main issue is that if I'm not careful, uh the thief could get could get some ideas. Let's, let's block him in. Break the level up? Nah. Oh, two hit rate. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. This is max. This is two hit? Hold on a second. This is infinite XP. Yo. Hold on a second. This is infinite XP. Yo. This is infinite XP. If, if I, can, I can infinite dodge. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Actually, just infinite XP. I don't. I don't even think our needs to be in range for this. You hit. As long as I block correctly, we should be fine. The positioning makes it awkward to have more than more than two supports, though. Gotta get motor to heal. That is true. Yeah, gotta have a motor to secure the heals. He's moving though, that's making me pretty nervous. But as long as I stay out of range, I should be fine, right?
Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, we're good. He, he, he dances around a little, but nothing to be concerned about. Eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety. Once we get to one hundred, we gotta take care to secure the HP level up. So he's got all twenty hand axe uses, and Seth is gonna level up soon. They so gotta heal and then very quickly grab, very quickly grab motor out so he doesn't get hit. A super chat? Oh yeah! Hey! $2 super chat from Kyoko No! Just joined stream and he's already farming. Hell yeah! That's, that's what I do. Right? So I leveled up, meaning that I can go in for a heal. I'll cap out my HP again. Secure it. I get no XP from it, that's fine. Now I can go and rescue him. Out the way, and I just stuck in Garcia to keep my support bonuses up. Very nice. Zero hit. Let's go. Zero hit. Yeah. Oh, wait, I just realized if I go farther back, I could get all my support bonuses anyway. Right? This is a much more convenient, a much more convenient spot to go from. Hey, darling Mir Miriam with a $5 super chat. Guy's just trying to get his exercise, and that's why he's shuffling around. Yeah. And I'm assuming that if he exercises enough, he might level up too. So this guy has 66 hit. Theoretically. What are Comb supports? Comb supports with uh, Naomi, right? Comb has supports with Naomi, Renak, Kyle, Marissa, Motor. So if I do a... I could do a Motor... Naomi support, I think. So, Motor Naomi gives him two avoid, and then Motor gives him uh, two avoids. Only four avoid. He's not a very avoidy supporter. Oh shit! Wait. Hold on a second. Might, might have messed up here. If he goes there, then Comb is in danger of being hit. Ah, shit. I need to reorganize this. Um, I think what I can do though is I can move my guys so that yeah. Hold on a second. This is bad. Yeah, I can move my guys around. Right? And then I block this way with Seth. As long as I can stay out of range, it won't go for anyone else. Maybe the hit rate's a bit worse now, but I, I can afford taking one hit for zero damage, right? Because I can always... the It's not about taking damage, it's about not depleting the hand, guy's hand axe durability. Okay, this is a lot safer. I just need to move everyone else around. Yeah, we're good. We're good. There are no issues. We're good. I'll switch to a lance to break his hand axe. I don't want to break his hand axe. Because if I break it, then what happens is I don't get XP. If if it never breaks, then I I can get to max level. Just very easily. Feelings have too much useless? Yeah, I think here they have a use to secure level ups. Because otherwise you'll you'll lose the HP that you gained after a combat. Level is that he's like two or three. But once Seth has enough HP and he defends, we're probably we're probably very we're okay for a very long time. Yeah, we can now spam until he gets level. This won't even take that long. Seth, Seth, Seth grinding on this map is, doesn't take forever.
34. Fifty, sixty. I think how fast this goes depends on how fast I click. So I, I, I could make this faster by being faster at clicking it. Ninety, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Alright. Run Gilliam too. Gilliam will take hits though. So it doesn't work. Another HP level up, very nice. Let's, let's, let's uh, increase that HP amount. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the, the physical therapy arc. I need to increase the HP on the sidebar. I wasn't expecting to need to actually do that very often. So this guy has 71 HP. It's just be avoid. Theoretically, I probably could lure in that guy to make this a bit faster, but I think it's pretty pretty dangerous, so I won't do it. It's too risky. And this already works, so why do it, right? Alright, next level. The Franz Donchek? Nope. Pretty much only Seth right now because he's the only one who's who has enough avoid. Everyone else. Everyone else, if they take a hit, they take damage. So it's not acceptable to risk that much, right? And even then the avoid they have isn't good enough. So then eventually the bandit's axe will break. Oh, can't dodge shank that? I don't think he can. Unless I go onto a void tile. Because Cole does not have good avoid supports, that's the thing. Hey, weapon triangle in this game is 15, right? Weapon triangle in this game is. What what is what is weapon triangle advantage in this game like? I can use the throne for dodge shank shenanigans? I guess. That means I have to kill the boss and move past everyone. Meaning that I'm exposed to attacks if I do it. I don't think it's, it's very risky. Okay. That's level up. Level up time. Level Gilliam. The axe, enemy axe will break. It doesn't work. Also, he doesn't have enough defense. These are all bad suggestions. Shame on you for making them. HP and defense. Very nice. Alright, let's grab motor, get out. Alright, next level. So yeah, if I have Cone with a sword, he has like 45 avoid. If I get him onto a tile, defense tile, he I think he has like 65. So I think that could work actually. If I go onto the pillar, I might be able to do Oh, there's a Oh shit, there's a forest down here. Yo, wait, hold on a second. There's a forest down here. That means That means You know what that means? The 45 I, I guess 65 avoid. This guy has 66 hit. Hmm. Yeah, hold on a second. That's pretty viable. Right? If I can I can get four for supports with motor and, and uh Naimi. Yeah, hold on a second. Yeah, that's looking pretty good now. I can reach zero hit on comb. I'm going to use that forest tower for all it's worth. I 
only need to get one level up from it, though. So, because the Steel Loop is more efficient, time-wise. Right? That's the thing, right? It's not... I don't think it's even worth it, actually. It would be really funny, but, uh... I guess I should do it just because it's unique. Strictly speaking. Touching grass. <laughs> yes. Touching grass for infinite XP. Let's heal. Secure level up. We're now at 19 HP. Oh, huh. I can rescue motor. I think I can convince this guy to move in a way that gets him easier to lock up. But it's funny, so please do it. Yeah, I will. I just need to, um... Okay, oh, wait, this guy doesn't move anymore, huh? But I think I just need to have my... Well, that's the wrong support. That's fine, though. I need to have my comb support. With motor and my naming support with motor. Alright, next level up. I'm gonna take a bit. Or I might not have enough heal for all the levels. I think Combs HP level up is really Combs ability to HP level is really bad anyway, so it's not like it matters. I don't think Calm is leveling up maybe more than like, maybe like, 10 times. Alright. And even then, that's like a good problem to have, right? Oh no, I can't get more HP because I got too many. I got too much HP. Well, it was me, right? Alright, uh, one more? More HP? Okay, so... That just, keep, that just keeps winning. Uh, I'm out of range, oops. Um... Ah, uh, oopsie. Oh, actually, I can, I can back up one tile, we're fine. Okay, motor support, very nice. Wait, do chests give XP? No, chests do not get avoid. Oh, the pillar gives Tony a void? Wait, what? Oh, shit, I thought it was 10. Oh, the pillar gives Tony a void. I don't, I don't even need to use the forest. I don't even need to use the forest. I could just use the pillar. Are pillars kind of void? I don't remember. The issue with going to the forest is that then um, I'm trapped behind it. All right, that's so the 20 HP now. I'm doing this loop so fast. I'm using a fast forward function on my emulator. Fates pillars. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm, I'm too fates brained. Eight, nine, eighty XP, ninety XP soon, and then we can go for another level up. HP, wow. That just can't stop getting HP. 
I'll take it. It's 21. Wonder if I could write a script for this? I could, but it's likely to like screw up and then I'll just like I'll miss something, right? This isn't unfortunately I have to monitor every level up because otherwise I might be able to I might miss the HP. All this will be done undone once that gets hit accidentally. That is true. But um he'll still retain all his other good stats, so he's probably fine. If my finish ground with over 30 HP, yeah, then he can maybe survive one hit from the Demon King. Actually, probably not. He probably won't even survive one hit. HP. Every single time I'm getting HP level ups. Crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining. But it is crazy. Did Gilliam dodge tank the Merc on the pillar? No. Gilliam is not going to dodge tank anything. Mercs are too accurate. Pretty much you have to, like, this only works against hand axe guys for the most part. Just because bandits have so little, are so bad, and have so little accuracy. Seth will heal back from his grievous wound against Velter. Yeah, and then he's gonna get hit by like a steel wax bandit and lose all of it back. What's my plan for the Demon King? Uh, I'm just gonna bash my legendary weapons against his face until he dies. It's not very hard. All I have to do is sacrifice a few units, right? I can use Murr, I can, uh, and Murr dies, I can use, uh, Seth, and then Seth dies, and I hit with, like, any, like, literally anyone. I mean, for, uh, the question of how do you kill the Demon King is always the same, as long as you can still use your legendary weapons, right? More HP. Almost at 20. You think base do so with Garm one shots him? No, no, it doesn't. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, Deuce does not one shot the Demon King. In he, Deuce got 120 HP. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you might be thinking about it with a crit, but me, other than that, no. Is it different in normal mode? No, the Demon's King's stats are barely different in normal versus hard. I think you're just incorrect. You have conjured up this imaginary reality where, you're, where these things happen. This happens a lot where people like who haven't played the game in like 15 years just suddenly think that uh, they have like in-depth knowledge of the game when they actually don't. Some kind of like hallucin hallucinatory uh, ideation. All right, another race we level up. Who would have thought? Yeah, Seth. Seth, we we are we we have the we have the technology. We will, we can rebuild him better, faster, stronger. The six million turn man. What was HP at again? 24?
What's that base HP? It's like 30. We're almost back up to his base HP. Eighty. Ninety. Mm -hmm. HP again, who would have thought? Nice. I might even cap strength. Hell yeah. the more realistic fire I was talking about. Hell yeah. That was meant to be tongue-in-cheek. Don't take it seriously. Mm. Is that TMS playthrough cancelled? I might pick it back up again whenever I have time, but it's not a priority. It's not cancelled, but it's on hold. This music sounds nice. <laughs> Does it actually? Though? I think his HP level was bugged. No, H that just has a high HP growth. Sixteen. He, yeah, he's gotten like, I think he's gotten eleven out of fourteen level ups. I think. This is just Seth. It's not. There's nothing. There's nothing strange about it. I think out of like, he's gotten out of like, he's gotten four to twelve out of thirteen level ups. No, thirteen out of. No, it's thirteen out of thirteen. Yeah, he's actually gotten every every uh, every HP level up so far. That's actually that's actually pretty pretty really nice. <laughs> Might cap strength? Yeah, he might. Probably will. It reminds me of the uh, the one durability run at this rate. I think the more important stat than to cap is defense, though. Yeah, we'll see. I think it's also very important to have a larger larger cast if to player phase enemy groups. Because Seth, I don't think Seth can solo everything. I mean, he probably can for a little bit, but not in the end game. More HP. I'll take it. May as well be a menace. Yeah. I think there's a pure water that I can steal here to make things a bit more manageable. They can probably enemy any phase. Actually, I don't know. I think there are a lot of enemies that do like 20 damage in the early game. But even Seth will still, still probably take some damage. And the issue, like, against single enemies, I can use supports, but against large groups, it's not possible because they would just kill my supporting partners. Right? Bronze has 6 HP <laughs> because I fucked up earlier. And now it's permanent. He's like hanging on, like. On uh, on, on the edge. I would get enough units S rank to th to kill for murders though. I mean, grinding weapon rank is not hard, right? 
It's really not. Some people, like some of them, some characters come very close at, the, at their joining time. And there are like, yeah, I guess there's no like weapon or scroll, armor scroll in this game though, right? More HP. That from chapter can be interesting though. I think that chapter is going to be um. Use Orson. I feel like I actually I, wait. I think Ephraim might Ephraim Ephraim could kill the run. Ephraim chapter could kill the run. And then like Ephraim rejoining in chapter twenty eight also kill the run if I'm not if I'm, if I'm not careful. That would really suck. Because the elixir doesn't do anything. Yeah, it might it might be pretty tricky. I think eventually I want to kill off Franz for the plus fifteen of Void Garcia support. We'll see. That would be more ideal. HP. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Three more levels. Have two disposable cabs in the Ephraim Gatum? That is true, but I'm pretty sure if Franz and Ford, if they take too much damage, I think the permanent HP damage still carries over because it's applied to their st actual stats. So normally they would, even if they die, they come back, right? But if they take too much, if they take max HP damage, it still applies to Franz and Four when they come back. So if they come back with zero HP, then they will disappear the moment they move. That's what happens when your units have zero HP and they try to move on the world map. They disappear instantly. Like if you if you remember my Fire Emblem Ape with zero HP uh, challenge. That's what happens. If you uh, have zero HP and participate in combat, you, you disappear even if you don't get hit. If you move, you also, you also disappear immediately. Another HP level up. Go. Death is now healthy again. Death has completely recovered from his previous wound, Velter. Let's go. Now we gotta change his HP bar to green again. That has, has completely recovered. Seth has zero chat. Orson has zero chat strength in the chapter where you fight him. No! You're, you're just making shit up. I see your name again, Techno Gamer 16. That is not what happened. You do not remember correctly. Orson has different stats as an enemy than as a player unit. And I specifically did not manage to edit him. Your memory is suspect. Thirty-one HP, very nice. We are now be that has overhealed. He has more HP than he started with, and he'll end with thirty-two HP, I think, if I'm really lucky.
Am I doing Erica or Ephraim's route? I think if I go Phantom Phantom Ship, I will die horribly. So I don't think I can, right? I don't think I, I really don't think I can do Phantom Ship. Actually, wait, it probably could. I just bring I only bring Seth. Only bring Seth, and then I just use pure water to kill everything with the javelin. That might work. But I don't. I'm not sure if I want to. I think I might go Erica route, just like <laughs> just to be safer. I mean, it is an unfortunate fact that most challenge routes go to Erica route because it's easier. But I mean, I I I, I could. Yeah. I think I'd rather... Alright. This is Mane, Cyrene, top tier. I think Cyrene tends to take a hit very often when he joins. Right. Okay, HP level 20 defense also. Okay, that's, that's a pretty good looking set. That's a, that's a mighty fine looking Seth right there. Max strength. Wreck all your one shotting needs. Now that Seth is okay, we now now we can try to set up comb. So here's the thing. Comb has uh, with his supports. So this guy will keep with his supports. Comb has a total of um, 33 avoid. So 33 avoid plus 15 plus 20. 33 avoid plus 15 plus 20 gives him a 68 avoid, which ha which means he can completely dodge shank this guy. So here's the plan. I move everyone away. And the plan is to put, like, is to put Seth here and then Colm here. And since Colm takes more damage from this guy, this guy will attack Colm with his hand axe. And this, this way, I can I can have support bonuses and do the grind safely. Is the reason level Colm? Uh, it's because uh, he is capable of, of getting levels safely. No one else really can. Now, it's not about leveling up a character who is good. It's about leveling a character who can be leveled up easily. That's often the case for these degenerate grinds. It's more about who is capable of doing the grind than who is more worthy of the grind. You know what I mean? Because the, the, being able to do the grind in itself is not necessarily uh, always super accessible to everyone. Why hasn't the Red Thief just joined me? Yeah, I mean, granted, it's also, like, the only use for the Ocean Seal, because, like, Ross is, like, super dead, right? Who else can use the Ocean Seal, right? I'm gonna go here. I can, I can force this guy down one tile. Give me more room to do my shenanigans. Turn is it? Or, like, 2,000-something. Oh yeah, it's, it turn is ca capped out. It took, it took like 2,000 turns to the previous grind. Standard, you know. Because it's 1 XP per turn. So here, now I go here. And then I set up to... Um, I, set this, I set this grind up. 
I only need to do this until I get to level uh I, I just need to do this until I get a speed level up. That's pretty much it. Let's go for Ross and yeah. Goldman, he has zero hit. Hell yeah. I think I can do this until um I get Actually I think doing this is faster than the steel grind. My original intention was to do it for the steel loop, but I think I can actually just do this is faster. And also more reliable because I can, yeah. Because if I if I do a steel loop, I have to constantly put in inputs. And that's like there's a chance of messing up. But if I do it this way, I just get infinite XP for free, pretty much. The other issue with like doing level ups now is that if I do them, I can't take advantage of the HP level ups without um without heal stabs. So there's a nice, interesting use of heal stabs, I guess. Hey, HP level, let's go. So I think Seth has 32 HP now. Bone has 19. I think for like people, yeah. Did I get speed? I did. Actually, hmm. I'm pretty sure the steel is actually faster. I think it actually is faster. I hate to say it, it might be faster just because, like, it's 10 XP a pop. I'm pretty sure it actually is faster. Yeah, this is so much faster. Yeah, it's just so much faster. Getting 10 XP in action is so much faster than one each. Okay, there's no HP level up there, so that's fine. Yeah, I just need to be, be a bit more accurate with my inputs, and we're, and, and we're fine. Probably slow it down once I start having, once I need to start trading away once it gets faster than the other thief, but it's probably fine. Trend skill res, no HP, no speed either. Wait, why is this guy not attacking anymore? Oh, he is. I just wasn't paying attention. So now, uh... I guess I'll just, uh... Think about what to say once I get the next level up. Roll Chrome, get more speed. I should trigger Seth's support with that cutthroat. <laughs> the best pairing. Nice, we got speed. That means that, uh... I know... That means that this guy will start stealing from Gilliam now. So, okay, so this guy, he stole from Gilliam now, so now I need to do trade chains, get rid of all my stuff. Uh, bring Erica over, I think, for this. Let's have Vanessa deposit all of her items. Okay, let's trade away another javelin. Let's start stealing again. Okay. So I think what I do now is I trade my stuff over to Erica. Then I trade over to Gilliam so he can get stolen from. And then the loop begins anew. Trade stuff away to Erica. Yo. Okay, we're good now. Alright. Steal. Steal. Three. 
four. Trade away everything. Trade, trade all the stuff here. And then do the next batch of five. HP level up, very nice. Take it. Alright, then we do the trade chain again. The like trade chains are slower. They might be. It also takes they also take more focus. Yeah, I think I mean I've already committed to it a bit, so I might as well just keep going with it. Did I get HP? Yeah, nice. The thing is, is that max level comb isn't even that good, frankly. I think when I was doing my zero strength playthrough, on my one my one durability playthrough, he was useful, but only as like a like a dodge tank. Even then, he still like kind of died. I think. I think he did die in that run, even though he was max level. Can uncommit, yeah, but like, I'm more, it's more that I'm committed to the bit as opposed to committing to the action. I'm pretty sure this is still faster. I guess I can't interact with chat as, as easily. Yeah, I think we're kind of following the same playbook as the uh, the the one durability run right now. Hey, HP, that's a massive level up. Let's go. We are 23 HP now. Right. But yeah, so be it. Trade all my stuff away. Silencer is better? I think Silencer is useless. No one has ever actually made use of it in, in an intelligent way. Same thing with like all these low percent chance instant kill activation skills. I think they're all, all so highly overrated. Like my HP is my durability? Yeah, I guess. More HP? Hell yeah. Messed up there. Messed up the loop. I guess the issue here is I might run out of heals, so I might not be able to secure my HP level ups after a little while. I'm not even sure if it's necessary. That's that's actually the funny thing. I just did it because... Wait, why does this guy have 4 HP? Oh, because I hit him twice. So I could give Combs some XP. That lot of HP? Yeah, it was. And well, actually, I, I want to see. I want to see what happens if I move. Oh, huh. I think as long as I don't enter combat, I should be okay. I don't actually need to spend a heal staff every time I do it. Yeah, as, as long as you don't enter combat, this is fine, I think. Oh no, <laughs> oh no, never mind. 
it does adjust it after you take the action. He lost the HP. No. He went for 25-24. Rip. I actually did lose the, ex the, the, the HP from it. I don't actually know how this how this patch works, to be honest. I just I just know that I have it. I didn't actually make the edits myself, so I don't actually understand the principles behind the mechanics behind what actually happens here. I think it's just just so that at the end of your turn, if you have if your current HP is less than max HP, set max HP equals to current HP. But if you don't take the action, it doesn't change. I think. Yeah, I lost one max HP there. Yeah, I might... Hmm, I might have to give up on some HP levels here. In that case, what I might do is I might just not, not take the further levels. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have one race not do anything. Because I didn't think... I thought HP levels would, be, would work automatically, but I think they don't. You have to secure them by either ending the chapter or by um or by other means. Granted, I think I might not I might ha not have enough uh healing healing staffs to get all my HP level ups anyway. So that's some that's a, some small consolation there. Yeah, I didn't get HP level up that time. H strength comb. Certified comb moment. Ethis can't attack in this game? That's the most basic question ever. If you if that's something that you're even thinking about, then clearly you haven't played this game in a very long time. I mean, technically she can attack if you give her dark magic and change her dark magic rank to stone and using the enemy control glitch, but uh, that's not what you're thinking about, right? You weren't thinking. All right, ne next level up. Let's go. Twenty-six. The only eight strength. That was really bad. What? How? Wait. I was still only at fifteen speed. Normally he should be capping speed about about this point, right? And I just use vulnerary. Vulnerary's do not do not do anything. They 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 heal zero HP. Speed screwed? You might actually be. Alright, level 14. We're almost there. And we can finally get back to playing the game. How horrifying. Level up? 727 HP. Okay, we're definitely hitting that. We're definitely hitting that. Oh shit, I rescued. We are 100% hitting the HP limit here. But I think what, what I might do is I might just like stop the level, level grind at this point. Once I run out of stabs. Because every HP is precious. Next level up, let's go. Speed and luck. Fire Emblem fans be like, yo, this gameplay is fire. <laughs> no, this gameplay is fire emblem. We got him. But yeah, this is a... Uh... Yeah, it's it's I guess it's probably not the most interesting kind of gameplay in the world. Even that this is even the first time I'm doing this exact same grind. But uh, I feel like it's necessary, right? 
And I, I always try to take the biggest advantages that I can whenever I do these challenges. Just because, you know... Why, why hold back, right? 28 HP. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. But we are now level 17. I think actually the but the slightly increase in stats might be it's, it's probably worth it. Just just cap level and you do not need to worry about it later. I think I think it's worth to just cap level for the stats. It's like if I, later on, doing these grinds will be impossible. Again, the gaining XP is also impossible, and possibly in combat situations, I will not be able to get the level up anyway. The HP is that uh, increase anyway. So I might as well do it like this anyway, right now, while it's safe. That's my. That's the idea, at least. It's not ideal. Yeah, see, like, I have 29 HP now. So, like, as you can see, if I use a vulnerary, this is what happens. <laughs> Zero damage. Yeah, and then my HP goes uh, down to the amount. I think I think 28 HP calm is good enough. Yeah, I added a vulnerable to not do anything. The spin up music sounds like a talking Animal Crossing character. That's pretty funny. Right. Then once once uh, what I can do is I can then promote Colm. It's like an assassin or something. With the, with the ocean seal, that you can get later. Be pretty nice, I think. Stabs work. Uh, I think they don't. I might need to change the ROM. The stabs basically don't work. Healing stabs, like I think, their only their only function is to take advantage of a level up. Otherwise, I don't think they actually do anything for you. But apparently, those those don't give XP, which is a consequence of how I tried to disable them. But uh, all right. It got 29 HP, but I can't take advantage of that, sadly. Yeah, okay, now what we, we can do is we can move in faster characters, so just... We need to... I want to get all the stuff back. What I need to do is I'll need to trade away... All of Koma's stuff, and then we just steal... We steal all the stuff back, and then we kill this guy. Kinda wondering who I beat the kill to, though. I guess there's Naomi. Naomi, Naomi can, can, can get the kill. Alright, that's the grind done. The grind is done. Yes, Colm was level 20 with uh, 60 avoid. He's pretty good. Uh, but I think you can have Colm do chip damage because he actually has very bad stats. I mean, he's, his stats aren't bad, but they're not great. But they're, his stats are low enough meaning, where he doesn't kill enemies instantly. So I can, I can feed these kills to Naomi. Right? No, he actually still does get the kill, huh? Never mind. I am incorrect. Naomi boss cheese? Boss cheese won't work very easily, though, I think. Sadly. Uh, yeah, I think I can't get this kill safely without getting risking a death or risking damage. So let's just let's just let's just kill him. Let's one shot him with the uh, overpowered set. Yeah, Thrown doesn't heal. So while you can cheese the boss, uh, the cheese all the cheese does is give you the kill. It doesn't get you the um. It doesn't get you uh, infinite XP. Which is a shame, because I kind of want to use the Orion's Boat to promote her. Yeah. 
if I do the rescue cheese, what's going to happen is the boss will take max HP damage and I will not be able to grind him, unfortunately. But they, these guys, I think I can now clear these... So what I can do is I can steal the, these, these guys' stuff, right? Then I can rescue a Seth, because Seth has more defense than they have attack. And he'll just kill them. Wait, actually, I want to- I should trade away his weapons. He doesn't... He doesn't kill the guy. I can rescue a Seth and run away, and then this guy will move in, then I can kill with Naomi, I think. I think Seth has enough defense to not take any damage, so we're good. I've seen Undercooked Gilliam dodge the uh, hand axe. Go no, he's got 9 avoid. It'll be like 9. He only has like 29 avoid. It's not nearly enough. But what I could do is I can feed the kill from this guy to Naomi. Which is nice. We don't have heals? Yeah, I guess. And I said I have so much HP. I grinded him to level 20. So he got level HP from level ups. Yeah, we can get XP here. <laughs> we go on the throne after killing the boss. Uh, it's a bit late for that. <laughs> and also, no. Hand X guys have like 65 hit or so. And you you basically need like 30 base of void to even have a chance. HP level up, but I can't take advantage of it, sadly. I don't have any heal stabs left. How sad. Remember when I did uh, F8 but with generics? Ah, oh, yeah. I remember that. Kind of degenerated into something very boring by the end, though. But I guess the option for that run was either be very boring or uh, die instantly. So there was very little leeway. I probably won't. I probably won't. Won't try that one again. <laughs> it ended up it did not end up being as interesting as I thought as I thought it would be. Sadly. Damage, and then we can get the kill with Naomi. Who who, who will lose her uh, max HP, unfortunately, because she doesn't not be healed here. I guess I oh I probably should have just like left her there, and by yeah hold on a second if I didn't if I left her alone she would have just uh gotten the man max HP once the chapter ended. That was a bit of a mistake actually. Gonna make these mods herself. Most of them I do. This one I had some help. The guy who made Iron Emblem uh, responded to my tw Twitter post and ma and made the end made the important part of the mod for me here. But I think we can uh, let's go here and well, I guess we might as well grab all the supports that we can. All right. So what I do here is we attack once and then we rescue to run away because this guy's a hand axe. And he will attack with it if you uh, stay in his range. Yeah, if I'm doing giving her another level, I might as well. Yeah. Yeah. Level up. Let's go. Oh, he, she missed her HP level up. Okay, I, I, I can keep going for free. Without risking uh, uh, in a whiff on HP level up. But yeah, as you can see, en enemies take max HP damage. So the throne tile cannot heal them. It also has it modified so that they don't. it doesn't heal them anyway, so... Um, how far am I planning to get today? I don't know. Uh, maybe like at least 5x. Or chapter 6. Maybe at least 5x. Alright, 
Hang on, so th this should be a level up. I think so. Hey, he has a crit. Nice. Very good. She did not level up. Rip. Motor staff rank? I think. Nah. I need. I should probably change the staffs back to be able to be normally used. Because right now I don't think they give any staff XP. Like motor should have gotten levels, but I'm, since I marked the staff as like an item, it didn't count. All right. That's that done. <laughs> 18 hours play time. <laughs> I love it. 18 hours playtime. Classic. Certified Fire Emblem moment. Where's my Silver Lance? Give it away to someone, right? Yeah, let's, uh, let's get all my weapons out again. I don't have any stabs now, which is, uh, I mean, it's not unfortunate because it doesn't really change gameplay, but. Yeah, so I think this, the next map has some, some enemies that could hurt me, but I think it should be okay if I use a pure water, right? There's some moguls. Sure, I can give Seth a pure water just to be safe and have him kill things. You recover one HP level ups? Yes, but you have to um, heal it with a staff before before anything happens. Because what happens is if you end your turn, your current HP becomes your max HP. So um, if you uh, don't heal. You won't. You will not gain the max HP. All right. Uh, who do we bench? A motor is literally useless because he actually cannot do anything. Yeah, motor is literally useless here because he has no stabs. He can't do anything. We we'll just bench him. Easy, e very easy decision. So uh, we have loot XX, loot XX 420 blaze it over down here. These guys have uh, 10 attack, and I think oh I think Seth has enough resistance to just tank that. All right. So in that case, what we can do is we can just speed kills. That's the goal. Okay, I'm still taking damage from all these guys. I think not from not from not for Seth though. Seth should be fine. Can we buy a staff the armory? Can you? Can you buy staffs in the prep screen? Probably could have, huh? Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I, I could have bought it in the prep screen. Right? Yeah, you, you can actually buy prep screen staffs even before we get an army for it. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> it's like expensive, but yeah. I think here we just we just back up as far as we can and let the enemies come to us. I need Mr. HP level anyway, so no, <laughs> no harm, no foul. I think what I could do is, if I want to give Nami level ups, I can have her use a pure water and tank the Mogul. Just to reduce, reduce my dependence on Seth. His training is going to be really hard to do. Uh, I can lure this guy with Seth. There's zero damage to him, I think. Yeah. I can I can dump Seth's items. Use them as a lure. 
See, I attack Seth for zero damage, zero hit. These guys all move in. Oof. Now that's a problem, actually. Actually, wait. I can I can attack this guy with Naomi. And they do zero damage because of pure water. Very nice. And then I can enemy phase the other guy, too. Naruto's gotta be a bit useful eventually for... for that? Uh, possibly, but it's not guaranteed. I think I'm out of range. Yeah, this actually is perfect. I can kill this guy with javelins. Then I can kill the Mogal with, um, with, uh, Naomi. Garcia can attack with the hand axe. Actually, that's more accurate. Let's go for that. Hey, crit! And now I can go for a javelin kills on this guy too. Oh hey! Bronze can get a javelin kill. Make use of that 6 HP Franz. Zombies have infinite durability? You're right. This could be a level 20 Gilliam moment, but I think I should... I can't do it because I don't have the HP level ups. Right? Sadly. If I bought a staff in the prep screen, this could work. I could grind Gilliam to max HP by having him take no damage from a, from a zombie. I mean, if the issue is like, I could do it this chapter or I could do it in a later chapter too, right? Actually, probably... Hmm... It might be difficult to do. Because the... You, you don't see revenants for a while. And I find a one that has like very low low attack. Yeah, it might be better just do it now when it's possible. Nah, these guys all like guys 11, 12, 11. I guess if I go on to like a mountain, no. None of these give two defense. Yeah, this is not viable because I will still take one damage a hit. It's not gonna work. I need them to have- I think there was like a 10 HP one that I just killed just now, but yeah, it's not- it's not gonna- it's not gonna work. Supports. Oh, right. You're- yeah, you're right. Does Gilliam have defense supports? Gilliam, uh, what are the Gilliam supports like? Garcia and Franz. Uh, Garcia does not get defense. Franz does get defense, though. I think I have a Franz support already. I do not. Uh, okay, let's let's think about that later. We have trouble to deal with that right now. Um, so I think I trade Seth back his weapon. I have him intercept a bunch of these enemies. They're getting pretty scary now. And you stay out of range of every enemy that's not. Yeah, so let's attack like this. Let's kill this. Mm. I think I keep backing up here, actually. This is, not, and this is not a very good spot to fight enemies from. I can't clear all of them easily. I back up a bit, and then um, I ha I throw Seth in front. Uh, Erica's in the way. That's a problem. Yeah, I, I can rescue Erica, though. All right, let's let's move Seth forward to take some hits and just kill these guys before they can get to me. Support with Franz. This gives gets me up to 11 defense, which should let me tank. This should let me tank some of the enemies, which should allow me let me get Cap Gilliam.
All right, Seth Gaming. Just a little. Seth Gaming's a treat. But we should prioritize other XP at this point. These guys should move in and I should be able to kill them. What difficulty is, is this? Hard, of course. Why would anyone play this game on anything less than that? General and Great Knight actually do have the same defense bonus. I think. I'm pretty sure they do. There's really no advantage. <laughs> Yeah, I think. Yeah, they have the same defense bonus. You know, General just gives plus some, some con HP. Which in this run, I don't think are super valuable. Alright. I missed that one. Okay. There we go. That's a kill. I think once we get the next map, we can start buying, um, we can buy, uh, healing. I guess we get, we actually get Natasha, which was probably fine. Am I able to use elixirs? No, elixirs do nothing. That part of the map secured. Go here and get the iron axe from the item shop is it from the village. Now we can try to set up a, a gillium uh, grind. So we need to lure out one of these guys that has 11 attack, and we can do that pretty easily. Yeah, but then what we need to do is we need to block the guy in and have him attack gillium. And while we have a Thrawn support nearby, while well, he's in the forest, I think. We need to do it in a way where Franz doesn't get hit. That's a, that's a tricky thing. And that way, I think we can get Gilliam to level 20 for free. I think. I, we don't actually... I don't think... Is worth it though because we don't get any of the HP level ups, which are very valuable. I guess it, it, it does give us a more uh, an offensive unit to use. I guess we can try it. But I think it's better just to have an offensive unit. Because having enough defense means like the 20 HP doesn't make that much of a difference, I think. Those for Seth? What the fuck? That's not what I wanted. That's not what I signed up for. What? Why is he not attacking... Gillian? What? Why is he not going for Gilliam? Why is he going for Set? Oh, it's because he's he's unarmed. Yeah, he's unarmed. That's why. I see. I see. I think I need to mm, run away a little here. Let's run away here. Okay, he's out of range, so I think the AI is dumb, so it doesn't actually acknowledge the existence of anything outside their range. Yeah, I think we give Seth weapons, and then we unarm Gilliam. And this should make this guy attack Gilliam over Seth. If it doesn't, well, so be it. I guess we're just not going for the grind today. But I think the plan is to go to one of these forests. Okay, so here's the plan. I put Franz on this forest, drop Gilliam on this forest, and then I block Franz with death so Gilliam does not die. I mean, Franz does not die. 
this guy attacks Gillian for zero damage. And then this way I get infinite XP. Very nice. Uh, this doing it this way means we get no eight. We we get like zero HP. But that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, hold on a second. Actually, uh, let me let me bind a macro to my mouse so I can do this more efficiently. Launch attack. E hub. Let me do it so I can I, I spam the Z button when uh I do I, I auto click the Z button. Table macros do like an auto fire thing. Let me uh E auto fire. E, uh, holding and If this works. Nice. We are on auto fire. Then we should have to stay on. I think they don't. Yeah, I, I I can turn them off during this to make it look nicer. Yeah, I need to hold down the uh, tab, the down key, and D. I Z auto fire. Nice. We're at 81 XP. This is just, this is just gonna just this is just gonna take a bit. Whew. Yes, level up, but we're not getting any HP. Let's just do a before and after thing. Yeah, if, if my my hand setup is a bit more comfortable than before because I'm not moving my hands, but it's still very awkward because I have to like kind of crab a claw my th my fingers around my keyboard and my mouse. Use my macro and other things. And level six. Kind of wondering how long this takes. All right. Yeah, I kind of envision this run after this point. Depending a lot on how either having high defense or high avoid, right? You either dodge tank or you because FEA is still so, so enemy phase heavy that you cannot avoid combat on enemy phase, frankly. Which means that if I do enemy phase and still take damage, then I'm uh, I'm doomed. <laughs> this is a macro, right? Yes, right now this is a uh, this is a macro right now. I feel like we should stop at their defense and resume we can get more HP. I think we should just go all the way just because it's convenient. Setting setting these things up is not trivial. Because you, you, you need to fight the exact right circumstances. And many maps do not give you the leeway to do it. So doing it right now, even though like it is not optimal, even though like we don't get like the HP from it, it's okay. I don't I don't have any heal stabs, so I can't actually advance the HP level. The other fact is like get, that getting this set up in a way where it can actually safely um, heal is also quite difficult, right? Here actually cannot safely heal easily. I guess after I level up, I can do it. This gives me a bit less leeway in later parts, but the, the what I really want is the offensive capability, frankly. I just want to be able to kill things on player phase. And maybe 20 HP, like in a in a normal run, would be very would be a big deal. But here, like, it's a difference of like maybe like one one or two hits. Always risk the healer. No, no. The issue here is like in this current setup, there's no room for a healer that cannot be attacked by the um the 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 revenant, right? Granted, once I once I get enough defense, I can just do this at the bridge without needing to be on a forest. But that's the idea I was thinking about. I think we're like level 10 or something. What are we waiting for? I'm grinding, uh... I'm grinding Gilliam by having him attack... Take zero damage from a Revenant over and over. 
until he reaches his level cap. You know, standard stuff. I, I, I do this nearly every challenge. <laughs> Wanna check the defense now? Nah, I'm good. Alright, we're at 60. 70. 80. 90. Level 12. Ah, I need, a, I need to give my fingers a rest. 14 defense. Hmm. I think maybe this actually looks nicer with the. Uh... Oh shit. Oh shit, I rescued someone. What the hell happened there? Okay, um. Alright. Okay. Alright. We're back to this setup. This actually isn't. This isn't. The speed isn't that much different. The set that set up 32 HP? Yeah, he does. I, I, uh. I leveled him up 19 times to get 19 more HP. This isn't that much slower. I think it makes it more obvious what's happening. Alright, next level up. 13. I think we got HP, but we we don't have it. We don't actually get it. This is good gameplay, yeah. Good thing close off durability, yeah. I think this is like the only time you can actually do this because you don't actually fight monsters for a very long time after this, right? Like after this, it's uh, chapter five, which is mostly human enemies. Chapter six has no monsters. Has like that one spider, but he has poison, so that will kill you. Uh, you actually don't fight monsters for a very long time after this, so this is the only time you can do it. Actually, I don't know which one's fast. I think th I'm not sure if this is actually that much slower. <sighs> All right, so let's try that again. Yeah, I think I'm not sure if it's slower or faster. Yeah, the spiders in five. It's, that's in chapter six. It's the fog of war map. Has the monster's head not broken yet? Uh, he's, he's got a very nice uh, manicure routine. He's gonna make you happy to see his Gilliam defense capped. I don't think Gilliam normally caps his defense. Uh, when he hits, hits, hits level 20. That's not super common. What are his stats like? 14 defense still. Which is still give HP. They, they do give HP. And if you do them outside of combat, you can ensure to get them without losing the max HP. You think the move for attacking is an AI setting? I think so. It doesn't always happen. I think enemies will generally prefer to move before attacking. Generally, I have no idea. Alright, that was a 
how do we look? 17. Hey, what's our defense? 14 still. Yeah, Gilliam is not really, not really going very hard on those defense level ups. The Revenant is taking advantage of momentum. Ah, uh, I see. Feel like we're gonna give him the Night Crest Chapter 8? Yeah, who else is gonna get it? Six HP prawns? No way. Level 19, okay, we're almost there. So I think. 14 defense skill. He's only gotten like five level ups in defense out of like 16 levels. That's a bit below average. All right. Good. Oh, 17 defense. Oh, wow. Those last three levels really pulled through. Yo. So yeah, he had he got like, yeah, hell yeah. He uh he he corrected his own stats. Let's go. That's pretty good. If okay, we have that bullshit done, now we can lure this, just kill this guy with someone else. I think we can feed the kill to Naomi. Yeah, Gilliam is pretty strong now. He's not like. He's not amazing, but he'll he'll do he'll do the job. Okay, let's have Ardor attack and then Nami. Start animations back on. Okay, now we can keep going here, I think, uh, and get our supports in. How do we do this now? I think what we can do, at least for these guys, is we can do hit and run attacks with Vanessa. Right? These guys can't hit me over the water, so I might as well just attack with Vanessa. Gilliam Odhoma rank? I think I'll probably have Colm use Odhoma. I can have, uh, I can... But he had to promote the general first, before any of it matters. Alright. Let's kill this guy. Excellent. Plus one skill, classic, going to level up. Very good. Uh, this guy has 10 attack, 10 res. And so I think I just. Oh, give him 8 resistance. But I think against this guy, I just have Seth Lear with the javelin so as not to take damage. Alright, I think everything else we can just... We can have uh, Gilliam Lear, and then we can kill with uh, the more worthy characters. I think, um... Yeah. Let's not, let's not make it too complicated at this point. We, we, we have, we've, we've already secured a big early game advantage. Very big advantage. Harder worth using because of Slayer? I don't know. Getting him to Slayer is, is going to be quite difficult. 
And by the point where we can get it, I'm not sure if it matters for a long time. Right? Because you don't really fight monsters very often until the end game. I won't get to Bishop before then. At least I don't think I will. Amy kill? So, another kill over here, if I can get close enough. And these guys, I can just block the bridge with, like, Seth, and we're probably fine. Okay, so this guy over here has very not, not much range. This guy should be blocked off by the forests. I can attack here. Yeah, I turned off... The way I made the mod, I turned off Staff XP on accident. I'll probably turn it back on because I think it's more interesting that way. Because I, I marked the Staff's items and I thought that meant they couldn't be used, but apparently they can still be used. It's very strange. I thought it worked in a way I wasn't expecting. And you still get staff rank? Nope. You can use you'll still use it, but it doesn't count as a staff apparently. So let's block and kill everything with Naomi. Zero damage. Okay. Let's go. What is Seth's defense? He's got like 18, I think. Or oh, 20. This guy has uh one of the, one of them has a tougher claw. But yeah, they, they do. Thanks to the cash, but uh give me my 70 defense. We're all fine here. I guess I could steal a vulnerability from these guys, but I really think it's not worth the trouble. Yeah, if we can get an HP level up, we can just like leave Naomi there to, and to secure the level up. Oh, we got the HP. Very nice. So, Naomi gets HP. I don't think I've taken damage in a, in a hot second. So, let's go and rescue Naomi. I guess we can give these kills to Vanessa. And does Seth heal? Uh, he healed by getting, getting level ups. Those are one-time use, for the most part. Alright, Vanessa kill. I would have my best shot for a warp user. Why would I want to use warp? Alright, Vanessa kill. HP level up, hell yeah. So I think she, she's a cure level up, I just rescue her. All right, now let's figure out what to do with the rest of these guys. All right, let's let's just kill the remaining enemies. The last hope in Darkling Woods, I guess. Voter rays do not heal anything. I might change them back just because I think there's a niche there. Because I, I changed them that to the way they are right now because of a joke. But I think it's more interesting if we can use them to like actually secure things. So I think I can give this kill to Garcia. Or Erica. Get loot? Loot joins anyway. 
She joins even if you don't recruit her right now. There's no reason to actually grab her right now, strictly speaking. Actually, I think grabbing loot right now could be useful so I can trip the boss down. But yeah, most of the time I don't recruit loot. She always she always joins at the end of the chapter. We don't grab her. Anyway, so... There's no sense in like bringing her out when she, when she could be hit. One HP Vulnerary raise might actually be legit though. That would be funny. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, 11 damage. Yeah, I think we're good here. I, I could also give loot the kill. That might be nice. Yeah, let's, let's go for it. HP level up, and then the map ends. Oh yeah. We killed all the monsters. Oh yeah. Uh, chapter 4 done. Alright, actually, give me a moment. I want to make changes to the mod really fast. So let's make a save state file in chapter 4. No damage. Uh, wait. Oh, damn. I, sh I should have been making, making save states throughout. Yeah, I actually, I gotta... Give me a moment. I want to make the edits right now, so I don't... Yeah, so let's let's shut this down. Uh, FE Builder. Let me open it up really fast. Twenty-five hour playtime. Anyone can carry the run. Seth is probably gonna carry the run. I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna make them up edits really fast. I'll change the stabs back to what they were, and reduce their heal amount. I think. I'll just change the stabs back to what they were. Uh, okay. I think what I did was I marked them as like an item. But that, with that, I think that just fucked everything up. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why they don't recover. They don't have any staff healing, right? Oh, I think what I did was I marked them as not a staff, like in the items things, and that broke something. I'm changing that back and the vulnerabilities. I think I would adjust them to heal one HP. Vulnerabilities will now heal one HP. And then that should be that should be it. I think all fixed. All right, so now what we can do is we can, um... So Vulnery should now restore 1 HP. And Stab should work as normal, so you can get XP from them, I think. So let's... What I need to do is now I'm going to go and... Go and sell some of these items. Like, the Elixir is useless. All right, actually, let me let me let me double check to see if it works. I want to. I'll just I'll make it. I'll just start a new save file really fast just to see if it works. Hmm, it doesn't. Wait, hold on a second. Man. Changes didn't go through. Oh, I see what happened. I opened up the emulator version. I didn't actually make the changes in the real version. Sorry, give me another moment. Sorry if this uh, has ruined the flow of the stream. Oh yeah, I'm going to need to uh, change all these things back.
mark these all as tabs again. And then votaries, uh, I need to change the heal amount back. I would load the right ROM. No, I did. I, I did. I just didn't edit the right ROM. Wonder heal amount is now one. Okay, that should be fixed now. So this should heal exactly one HP. <laughs> That's also funny. That is also very funny. All right, back back to the the main show. The single blip. Yeah, I think that's that's even more funny than the than the than the no damage sign. I need to make some adjustments to everything, but to adjust the rules to make them more sensible. But other than that, we, we're we're good. The single the single blip. I was that's what I was hoping for originally, but yeah. All right. I think other than th that, we should be okay to go. I can't think of anything that we could do to prepare. All right, let's go. Chapter five. Yeah, he would he would heal one HP, and then the, the HP would be set to fourteen. So I guess it would be slightly, it would be a slight advantage over what I have right now. All right, so here we have Joshua. I think he's pretty good. The issue is like we can't go to the arena because then we die. I think what I do now is I think I bench Franz because he is very weak, and I uh, I wonder who I bench now. I think I want to train Nami mainly because uh, we can get Natasha here, so we have a heal staff. Yeah, I think this is now a um a proper staff now again. So all the previous problems we had are fixed. So Gilliam is also pretty good now because, but even then, not really. He has some good hit rates, I guess. Do we? I guess do we bring loot or ardor? I think loot is better. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. It's a hard decision to make. Garcia is okay. Do I bench Garcia? What do you guys think? So we also have a Draco shield. I think we should give that to Seth, probably. Don't forget to buy stabs. Oh yeah, I, I can buy another staff, I think. Yeah, I can buy one heal staff, but uh, N Natasha comes with a men's staff, so we're fine. I kind of want to bring loot, but I think it might be better to have some high HP units. But let's bring loot instead of ardor. Can't be that hard, right? This is just chapter 5. Alright. Let's start. Let's grab the Draco shield. Chapter still establish cheaper prices. Yeah, I know. So I think these guys they do 16 damage. Okay, so Gideon can actually block the point. I think it's more important to try to get the treasure and also to uh these guys do 13 damage. Okay, so Seth should be able to enemy phase pretty easily without taking any damage. This should defeat boss though, so I could I could just grab the armor slayer and just snipe him. The boss that is. Then I don't get. I, I want. I want to get all the treasures so I can get the guiding ring. That's very important. There's treasure here, uh, and these enemies are a bit aggressive, but I think they should be fine to deal with. These guys, the soldiers are quite weak. 13 in damage, so Gilliam can actually tank them now. Yeah, we're good. We're good.
Uh, now we need to figure out where to kill these guys safely. These guys do. This guy does. Actually, they're 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 fine. That can just kill them. This guy over here is a bit of a trouble though, but it should be fine as long as we don't move too close with anyone that's wounded. All right. Uh, okay, let's let's go then. So yeah, Gilib could have had like 16 more HP, but eh, oh well, right? We haven't taken any damage in a bit, which is uh, honestly kind of disappointing. I was hoping I would take more chip. Joshua is a concern because if I damage him, then I don't get his. I think I can actually just block Gilliam and Seth. Just fine here. Right? This should be fine. This guy will move in. I need to avoid his attacks, so I'll move back a bit. And then I'll kill him on enemy phase. Player phase, I mean. Oh shit! I took damage! Wait, what? Oh, weapon triangle. Gilliam has taken 22 damage. Shit. That's permanent. <laughs> 22 damage on Gilliam. Oof. That's bad. It's not ideal, for sure. Alright, Naomi kills this guy. Maybe I can swing around. Actually, this guy does... Let's swing around with um, that to kill this guy. I can kill this guy with Gilliam now because he's very he's faster. And this guy can actually still attack Gilliam. Oh no. He has like he does like a bit a bit of damage. Oh wait, I just realized this guy has 17 damage, right? If I he only picks one damage from weapon triangle, but I think um the Franz support I didn't bring Franz <laughs> this chapter. Uh, what I could do is I could trade away all of Gilliam's weapons. He does not suffer from weapon triangle disadvantage, right? Because he 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 takes the damage because of weapon triangle. But if he doesn't have weapon triangle disadvantage, he doesn't take the damage. Nice. Otherwise, he'll take, have taken one here, which is not great. Okay, so now we can kill this guy. And loot can attack. Not a kill. Try to get, make it a kill. Vanessa attacks, and then loot attacks. Not sure if I any weirdness, but I wanted to explain the change. All you did was edit the function that updates unit stat after combat to set max HP equals current HP. Ah, thanks, Relic. Uh, if you're wondering, that's the guy who made the edits. I think that was the only edit he made. Yeah, I think it. It for the most part, it works just fine. It's just that um, level ups don't give you the HP, so you have to heal them, heal heal up to actually secure it. Otherwise, you lose it next time you make a move. So I think it's the it's more or less works as intended. I think the the mod, yeah. Again, many 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 thanks for uh for for doing that for me. I appreciate it.
Making the level ups give you the HP is a change you can make. Yeah, I think that's pro that probably would also work. Just to make it simpler, so you don't have to like you don't you don't have to heal to secure it. Typo and rules. Ah, damn. I think someone said, mentioned that like three hours ago, but I didn't. I didn't actually get around to changing it. <laughs> All right, let me let me let me change that really fast. Is dealt. Yeah, I think I'll just. You know what? It also changes that the healing actually does work. It just there's no there's no sense in having it. I think it's more funny that vulnerabilities only kill one HP. And that you can't even use them in normal circumstances and anything else, right? Yeah, I think I think we're good though. I think we're fine. All things considered. Oh yeah. Let's go. Is 32 HP Seth a cheese? Well yeah, of course it's a cheese. I mean I, I declare it valid, so it will be valid. We talk and recruit Joshua. Joshua might be good as a dodge tank. I think he has he has some good supports for it. Because his supports promote avoid. Alright, let's kill this guy with Seth. Oh, I'll use a silver lance. Oops. I will never find you recover from this. Yeah, let, let me check. FE8 Joshua part. So so Joshua supports are um let me check. So Joshua has wind, meaning that he gets dodge, I think. So Joshua gets not very, does not get very much avoid from most of his supports. Only like seven at tops. Hmm. Not as good as I thought. Let's grab the armor slayer and make sure to kill the bandits as, as fast as we can. I gotta put the silver lens on a death counter. Oh, this is the wrong run for that, sadly. Alright. How do I do this? Uh, okay, I think we. Let's focus the XP. These guys should be easy enough to kill individually while feeding XP. Let's give the XP to loot. Game, giving the XP was a bit harder than I thought here. I guess we can give it a kill to Erica. That'd be nice. Where's the support? Much of support gives a void? Yeah, but not enough. It only gives like seven of void tops. Marissa does not give 30 XP. What are you talking about? The person who said that is a uh, serial mis mis uh, re rememberer of of facts. Literally, uh, so source. I made it the fuck up. Do not trust his words. Another secret book here. And I think what I can do is like to avoid combat. Does this guy have a hand axe? He does not. I could just sneak up, grab the village, and then just snipe the boss with the armor slayer. The boss has um 19 attack and has 20 defense. So I can I can actually just snipe him with the armor slayer. no sense in doing more combat than I have to here.
If I go here, I should be able to move into the boss range immediately and just kill him. How terrible Vandia is still with Serena? Very bad. Very bad. Don't even try it. Yeah, I can snipe him and take zero damage from it. Oh yeah, boss kill. Excellent. Now we're on chapter 5x, and this this one could end the run, I think. A safe state. Uh, chapter 4. Expert damage. This could this could end the run. Did I lose the guiding ring? No, no, I didn't. I think I just skipped the part where I got it. I got all the villages. Oh wait, I forgot to visit the village of Vanessa. I just killed the guy, I didn't get the- oh fuck. I lost the guiding ring. Oh damn it. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I don't think I'm- I don't think I'm promoting any of the mages anytime soon anyway. But yeah, um... I think any damage we take here is also permanent. Fortunately, Orson is really strong. Is still rewind for it? Could I? Nope, I cannot. I cannot rewind for it. It's too far back. It's not like I'm gonna promote mortar, that is true. Alright, I think we just we just plow through with, with Orson. Orson, if Orson takes damage, does he carry that to when he's an enemy? I don't think so. Because uh, his enemy form has different stats. I mean, he goes away after this, so it's okay for him to take damage anyway. Yeah, Orson should be able to handle this map. I'm not sure if he can do it entirely, because he will, he will take chip damage. Modifies enemy version after for accuracy. It'd be funny if you just start some map with like zero HP. I feel like that might also be like I might that might lead to a soft lock. So I'm not I'm not so keen to do it. All right. I don't care if Orson takes one damage. We're fine. Oh no! Permanent damage on Orson. Oh no! Orson has taken permanent damage. That is not damage. Well, I'm surprised by how little damage Orson actually takes on this map. So, okay, let's let's kill these guys. I think. Oh shit! Orson is taking damage from this one too. Oh, he dodged it. Nice. 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 We're doing good. All things considered. I think four goes for a javelin here, actually. Hmm. I think I just avoid combat with anyone except Orson right now. Unless I can get it without taking damage. Because it's useless? Pretty much, yeah. Can one hit KO enemies? Some of them, yeah, not all of them. That wait, what? He doesn't kill with that? Huh. Okay. Or can get a kill. Io can go and trade for the door key, and I can go and grab the elixir, which does, which does nothing. But I'll grab it anyway.
Yeah, let's have... Hmm, let's figure out a way to do this cleanly. That room has six move, right? Five move. One, two, three... Okay, so let's do it like this. We have Ephraim over here. And then we open the door. Oh, there's an axe head coming at me. Fortunately, Orson can handle it. He might take damage, but so be it. Things happen. Damn it, Orson. Orson is taking heavy damage. 49 HP. He's, he's lost 5 max HP. Yeah, I, I originally had Orson on the health status chart, but the issue with that was that um, he kind of takes up space that other characters would need, and then it doesn't it doesn't clean, come out to a clean 33 otherwise. Otherwise, it'd be an empty space somewhere. So, yeah, shame. I need to adjust this thing again. The rules chart is blocking my health chart out a bit. All right, so here's the plan. Uh, Orson goes here. Ayo opens the door. Orson kills something. I think probably Orson kills a mage in one shot. Why didn't Orson just find a new wife? Because his wife took permanent damage. Orson taking more damage. Nice. Orson be healed later. I think it'll be very funny if he has like he starts with like one HP. And maybe I might mod that in just cause. But uh he shouldn't uh from my natural from the natural circumstances of the mod, that shouldn't happen. Alright, let's open this chest. I think what I do now is I Try to pick these guys off with javelins from distance while I'm here, so I can have a clear, clear, clear shot to the boss. Nice, another one shot. Pretty sure Gradle has enough angelic robes to heal him back up. And in this world. Medicine is a myth. Only way people can heal is by acquiring more and more drip. This is like Steve Jobs Simulator, where you, where you think like medicine isn't real, so that's why you go on like a fruit diet to try to cure your pancreatic cancer. A fruit only diet. It's like people who like think that breathing air, yeah, uh, that just just breathing, that they can live entirely off of breathing air. All right, let's let's just throw Orson at everything. Is that actually why Steve Jobs died? Yes, it is. He died because uh, he neglected modern medicine to try like new age hippie fr 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 uh, diets to try to cure his pancreatic cancer. But by, by the point. He realized that shit didn't work. Uh, he was... The cancer had advanced past the stage where it was treatable and he just fucking died. And he... The, fu the, the interesting thing is that the form of cancer he had was extremely treatable with modern medicine, but he refused to do it. About dihydrogen monoxide, the most dangerous, the most lethal chemical to exist in the universe. Yeah, one hundred percent of everyone who has ingested dihydrogen monoxide has died. Granted, it is it is just water, right? And everyone, and the joke is that everyone who ever has lived will die. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wasn't taking more damage. Wait, did I miss an eighty two? Oh, damn it. is real? Yeah, I, I, that's, I'm not making a joke there. That's actually what happened to Steve Jobs.
It's, it's not. It's not just like. Uh, it's so sad that Steve Jobs died of Ligma. Who the hell is Steve Jobs? Uh, Ligma balls. Boom. He actually just. He actually did die because he insisted on alternative medicine. <laughs> To clear, to, to try to cure a uh, extremely easily treatable illness with modern medicine. You thought Steve Jobs died of Ligma? Who the hell was Steve Jobs? <laughs> All right. Okay, this this chapter wasn't too bad. Let's have Orson kill everything. It's kind of funny how Orson, even when he can't heal any of the damage, he still just clears the entire map just fine. I think it might be statistically impossible for him to die. <laughs> Actually, I don't think any enemy does enough damage to kill- Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Ephraim! Fuck! Ah, oh, damn it, Ephraim took a hit. He's down to 19 HP. Oof. Ephraim has taken a hit. Oh boy. Ephraim just lost four levels worth of HP. Yeah. That's a, that's a certified bra moment. Alright. Let's kill these guys with a silver sword. Four HP on the non-existent death counter. No, it goes on the health status counter. I'm not doing a death counter here. Every time you dig a hit, you lose a level. That, that's a tier ring saga moment. There's actually like a, a one of the final bosses that has like a weapon that drains XP. Honestly, based. We we need more like we need more like like a uh, old king a lot. Like so, so sucker things that that take away your permanent benefits, and like at the, near the end of a game where it doesn't really matter that much, because like it's the sort of thing where people like really, really hate when it happens to them, right? Because it's a loss of a supposedly permanent thing. It's like a violation of the social contract, right? But at the end of the game, this doesn't matter. But so, still interesting, right? Now the thing so far, pretty good. Yeah, I I've done a bunch of, I, I used a bunch of grinds to make things more manageable. At a at a max level Cole, max level Seth, max level Gilliam, they're pretty good combat units. I'm working on getting a uh, training Naomi right now and uh, loot, but for this chapter, I'm just basically just throwing Orson at everything. Uh, Ephraim took a hit, so he's now at 19 HP out of 23. Other than that, we're good. How the so funny thing is like if you if you if you throw Orson at literally every enemy on the snap, he actually still cannot die. I think <laughs> that's really funny. Like he's not even close to dying. He's he's like taking like every hit that he could have taken, right? He actually just can't die. There's not enough enemies on the map to throw at him. Equipping shenanigans may have been involved? Hmm, possibly. Oh, nice. Level up on, on Orson. Oh, flux. Oh, no. Magic. Okay, Orson is getting pretty wounded now. Now, it would be really funny if Orson just had like 3 HP when he when he's joined back up, but I don't think this this game works like that, unfortunately. All right. I think we can do after this we do chapter six, and then that might be a good cutting off point for the stream. All right. So yeah, let's 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 fight this guy. If he misses, then we might have a problem. But 
I don't think it's gonna happen, right? There's no way. Oh shit, Orson actually got hit. Oh fuck! Wait, hold on a second. Wait, Orson could die. <laughs> Orson can actually die from this. Oh shit. Oh, he has all my stuff. Oh, I can I can trade his stuff away. Never mind. Go ahead and die, Orson. I I no longer care about your fate. Okay, let's grab a silver sword. Let's grab all his shit. It's fine. Yeah, Lou is like what? Like a vulnerary? Oh shit, he actually died. <laughs> this wound, it will slow me down. Yes, I, my zero HP will slow me down. Oh, we actually got Orson killed. That's impressive. I'm genuinely surprised. That that actually happened. Ah, uh, nice. I managed to take away all of his good items, though, so we're okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, only had a steel lance on him. Alright, let's get this kill with Ford. I think if, it's because if I kill with Ephraim, I can't I can't keep the HP level up. And Orson doesn't count, so... Oh, HP, nice. I, I, get, I get to keep that. Oh, I think I had four marked as 25 HP, even though he only has 24 before. Alright. After six. We can save state for later. So, okay. Uh, important things to do. We need to, we need to allocate items. So, I think what we do is we, we give Seth the Drago shield. Just to maximize his utility. As like a big tank. There's gonna be a halberd guy soon, so I'm a bit worried about him. But it should be fine, right? Vanessa also, I think I want Vanessa to intercept the um the spider. But the issue is that normally you deal with that by having Vanessa tank hits. But if, if she, with permanent damage, I cannot do that because then she'll just die. So I think what I want to do is I want to just charge in Seth and immediately take out the boss as fast as possible. I think uh, we don't have any torch staffs here, right? Do we get a torch staff? Wait. Is that from the village that I missed? Oh, shit. <laughs> I think it was. The village that I forgot to get go to is the one that gives you a torch staff, right? Am I crazy? I thought there was a torch somewhere. Yeah. I missed the torch staff. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm going in blind. You can buy a torch staff? Okay. Oh, you actually can buy torch staffs. Yo. Oh, hell on a second. That's a level 20. That's a level 20 Natasha right here. Uh, The problem is then um, I don't actually have any guiding rings though. What's next guiding ring? When's the next guiding ring? I missed it because I forgot to, um... Wait. All of me, end of chapter, no villages were destroyed? None of them were destroyed. I just didn't visit all of them. I should have it, don't... Shouldn't I? Like... Wait. That doesn't make any sense. The wiki says if none, no villages are destroyed, none of them got destroyed, and yeah, I still don't have it. The fuck? Is it? I think it's wrong, right? It's if you don't visit all the villages, because I, I none of them got destroyed, if I recall correctly. Hmm. Is visit all okay? The the wiki is wrong then. All right. Uh. Let's think about a different plan. So let's buy... Let's buy a bunch of torch staves. It'll be a nice XP grind, I guess, for Natasha. Then I can promote her later. Actually, hmm... 
Maybe I actually have Motor do it. Because he's higher level. I just have Natasha heal him when he levels up. This guy in chapter ring is chapter ten. Oh man. It would leave unvisited village on the map. I was trying to end the chapter quickly, so I I, I was in a rush. Chapter ten though, okay. The fandom wiki is plagued with ads. I was looking at the 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 good the better one. But uh Alright. I think we just deploy everyone. Can't be that complicated, right? Uh wait, do I bring Joshua? I guess I could, he's not a bad unit. But he doesn't he can't really attack without being counterattacked easily. So I think what I could also do is I could uh you know what I probably could just charge that in. I think he's he's bulky enough to not, not not take any damage for most enemies aside from the the one halberd guy. I guess we just don't bring Joshua. Can't be this game. This map is not that hard. All right. This torch. I'm probably going to I'm going to charge at the spider. I might drop like I might try to rescue drop sat nearby it to kill it. There's like a halberd guy over here, so I need to be somewhat careful. But I think other than that, I should be able to kill these guys cleanly. 12, 14, 20. Actually, yeah, I should be fine. Seth has 22 defense right now. So I can just kill all of them, I think. The javelin. Let's do it. Is a horse there too? Oh yeah. Thanks. Is there? I thought it was only the halberd here. Was it one of the calves? I don't remember. I don't think there was one, but my my memory might be incorrect here. Nice. We enemy phase a little here. Yeah, the, oh, it's a knight, huh? I think it's one of these guys then, huh? Nope, it's not. So uh, this guy has set 13 attack and set has, has uh, 13 res, meaning I can actually just kill him, huh? Uh, I think what I can do is I can give Seth my uh, my pure water. Where's my pure water? I can give Seth my pure water, so he can he can probably snipe the boss. Actually, hmm. I don't think I think torch spamming on this map is probably not worth it, honestly. Because like, what the hell am I gonna use motor for, right? If I can't promote until chapter ten, I might as well wait until the next fog map to even try this. I mean, I'm still gonna use torches eventually, but whatever, right? So I think I can just charge in. I don't think these uh, there's. Horse Slayer guy anywhere near here, right? No way. Uh, wait. I think the Horse Slayer guy is actually like literally like right here. So I'm looking at the wiki right now. There's like a there's a there's a suspicious knight that has a that is hanging back over there. So I think I I hang back a little. I restrain myself a little. Yeah, I think that's the exact guy. I don't want to take like 30 damage from like a surprise Horse Slayer. I'm not, I think, and it's also like the, uh, I'm pretty sure the Halberd guy's like right here too, so I could get jump scare and take it like a million damage. But I think he's like, like literally right here. So if I go here, I should be fine. Is Nami top tier? I think she's okay, but I think other combat units that can have enough defense and not take damage are just also just better. 
A Gilliam is good because you can grind him. The Comb is good because you can grind him. Seth is good because you can grind him. But it depends on degenerate strats. But if you're for these kinds of challenges, everything is fair game in my opinion. Granted, it makes the Earth looking really easy, but <laughs> that's just FE8, isn't it? And going to the fort for the avoid. I think the issue with going to the fort is that there is a halberd guy there. I don't want to get hit by him, even if it's like a like a low percent, like twenty percent chance hit. It's not ideal. How's my genealogy video doing, by the way? Eh. Doing okay. I think people just aren't uh, super interested in genealogy compared to other 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 titles. Or maybe just uh, the suddenness of the release after a small break. Yeah, I think this is the horse layer guy. If he gets me, then uh, if he hits me, then I'm 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 in trouble. Oh, it's only oh, it's only eight damage. Ah, that that should have been fine then, huh? Okay, we, we can we can rush him down. So eight damage is eight damage too many. And we can probably kill the spider with just Seth. I think we, we might be able to be able to rush down the map before the reinforcement cabs come in. Right, we can keep going, I think, after this. This is going to be a short map. Oh, the cabs are coming in. Uh, there's the cab reinforcements. But I think um, what I might want to. So I'm, I'm just trying to think about where the halberd halberdier range is. So the halberdier should be like. Oh, that's that poison axe. Oh, that's bad. Okay, and there's no. I don't want to get hit by that. Oh, wait, only 70 hit. Wait, how much? I, actually, halberd is like 55 hit, right? I should be able to dodge tank that. I should be able to, right? Yeah, halberd has like 55 hit. 60 hit. So I'm just, I'm trying to do the math here. Seth has 64 avoid. So I think I should be able to dodge tank it on the forest with a sword. I don't have any proper swords for it, but we're fine. You can't tank poison. Uh, I should be able to do it if I um. They don't hit me. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, motor is getting getting flanked here. 15 damage. Uh. And there's others, others in the back. Okay, let, let's 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 get some vision behind me. I want to see how far close those guys are. Okay, we're fine on that end. I think we can res we can rescue motor. Then we can enemy phase this guy. Let's put Garcia out back. We should be okay. Seth's doing good. Cavs are coming though. I don't have enough vision to go for the boss immediately, I think. How much damage did the boss do? Boss has uh, an Ovala, has uh, 19 magic and a flux tome, which is um, 7 might. So he does 17 damage. So, okay. There's an elixir though. Hmm. I don't want the money. I'll take it. I'll take the elixir for the money. Then I'll next turn, I'll try to go next to the boss in enemy phase and kill him. On enemy phase with the elixir with the pure water. That way I should be able to do it without taking any damage. 
I think what I do now is I run away here, and then I face these guys with Gilliam. I think... Yeah, so I can I can give Motor to Garcia, and then Gilliam can tank them all. Uh, I need to move Natasha away, though. We should be okay like this, I think. They should all go for Gilliam. The spiders are actually not even anywhere nearby, huh? I guess I moved pretty fast. I don't think Gilliam doubles these guys though. He might, if I'm very lucky. No, he does not. But they should all go for him. Oh, no! One damage! He took a damage from an Iron Blade? Wow. 22 HP now. So, as long as I kill the Iron Blade guy, I should be fine on this front. And then I can, once I kill the Javelin guys, I should be able to do chip damage. We're, we're okay. We're okay, we're okay. I think maybe we can go up to Chapter 8 today. But yeah, let's, let's see where the boss is. I can probably just snipe him really fast. So, um, I think he's like right over here. Right? So I go here and use a pure water, I should be able to kill the boss without him doing any damage to me. Nope, that's the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah, but I still have like 20 resistance, and this guy only does 18 attack. So the idea is sound. Alright, the rest of these guys should kill themselves on enemy phase, I think? Oh no, spider's coming in. Gotta hurry. Guy goes for Seth, no damage. Albert guy? <laughs> Zero hit. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I was scared for nothing. Helium sweeps. Had 99 avoid against that guy. Yeah, classic Seth moment. Oh shit! Oh wait. Naomi almost took a hit there. She didn't actually take damage though. Oh, oops. I, 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 I miscalculated there. That would've been bad if she went down to like six HP. But we're okay, I think. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, so let's have Naomi move back here to kill this guy. And then we can have Gilliam chip the other guy down and then we can finish off with someone else. Nice, Navy level up. Skill, luck, res, no HP. Kill him, kill here. Very nice. And then we can kill the boss. Excellent. And we can do it before the spider comes in. Oh shit. Okay, I almost, I almost, uh, menued something that could have caused problems. But yeah, we can just kill the boss instantly. Excellent. And we get the Orion's Bolt. Very useful. Yeah, I think that was a pretty fast chapter. Since we're not doing degenerate grinds anymore, we can probably just keep going. Is Naomi popping off yet? I think not really. <laughs> She's not that good yet. Oh shit, I, I, I deploy without... Okay. I deploy without actually uh, doing my deployments, so oops. We should be fine though. Uh, as long as we, we, we can secure the... Um, 
As long as we can secure the the uh, the strength ring, I think we're fine. I think I'll probably avoid combat here. Gilliam should be fine against soldiers. Soldiers are so weak that even Gilliam can double them. <laughs> So I'm thinking, um, this guy does 14 damage. And this guy has the, uh, energy ring. The issue is that, um, getting it safely is probably going to be really hard, right? Because... Okay, here's the plan. I have Seth use a pure water. And I drop in Seth without a ranged weapon. This way, all the other enemies get themselves defeated onto Seth. And then I can charge in with, uh, like, I can move in with Colm afterwards. Yeah, that should be fine. I drop Seth off here. He should be able to tank the mage without taking damage. Now I need to figure out how to, how to get rid of these guys. I think um, Ohm can take out this guy without taking any hits because he has a million resistance. I mean, a million dodge. Excellent. I can finish off with someone else. And then the mage over there is a bit of a problem though, I think. Yeah, I messed up. I don't think I can one-shot him, and, uh... I'm taking a hit. Oops. Oops. I'm taking a hit from this. A big hit, too. I guess loot... How much avoid does... So, Colm has 75 avoid, and this guy has... 93 hit, and I think... I'm pretty sure that Tomes don't bypass bonuses, so... Uh, I think, actually, I could have Motor take a hit, right? Because he's just, he, he just, he just a staff user. That's probably fine. Probably better to have my staff user take a hit than for an actual combat unit to take a hit. I think we're doing okay. Uh, it's not ideal, because this is gonna wear me down eventually, right? I've so far been very good about not actually taking damage, but I might take an unintentional hit here. Yeah, motor's gonna probably gonna take some damage. If he dodges, then everything's good. But yeah, this guy goes for Seth. Fortunately, Seth is uh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can actually take. Oh shit! No, Vanessa. Oh damn it! Vanessa took a hit. <laughs> Oof. That's really bad. That's pretty bad. Oh man, 10 HP Vanessa now. I color her HP bar yellow. Oof. It's quite bad. And I guess I'll take his pure water. Probably should have just attacked him, actually. Oh, now, now I'm stuck in the same problem where I can't really kill him without taking hits. Shit. You know what? Fuck the energy ring. I'm just gonna go... Yeah. Getting the energy ring means putting uh, Cole in risk of being hit. So it's not worth the trouble, I think. Yeah, I can probably, hopefully, one-shot this guy. I cannot. If that's the case, I should probably run away a little from this guy. I think what I can do is I can try to go for a javelin kill, I think. Can't. Ah, man, these mages, they just do so much damage. Foam has 5 resistance, and I think with the support bonuses, I should be fine, actually. And then this 
this should be fine if we're calm. He should be able to dodge tank it. Ah, oh, shit. I put Vanessa in range of another mage. Get, get out of there. Get out of there. Damn it. Can Naomi do it? Not really. Alright. So be it. These guys go over Seth, but he's fine. I should have just left Seth back there. <laughs> but that's a lost cause. I mean, she's still useful with like 10 HP. It just means she can't do that much. Is the biggest waste of a Silver Lance in recorded history? I'm not sure if it matters that much because um, Seth is. His cap strength. This isn't the. This isn't a one durability run. This isn't a zero strength. Oh shit, Natasha. Oh damn it! I keep taking damage where I don't need to. Granted, granted, Natasha is like a worthless character, so it's fine. Natasha took a hit, also. Oof. Yellow HP bar. All right. Yeah, actually, this this would have been fine if I just attacked. There's no way he hits me for a little love and hit. We're good. Alright. Uh, now this guy. Oh, another mage. I think if I give, uh... Him a better lance... I do not have a better lance. Why do I not have a better lance on anyone? Shit. Who's... I think I'm probably gonna stop using Garcia after soonish. Does Vanessa have a lance? I think so, actually. Not like a good one. So. Okay, who are Gilliam's supports? And do any of them give him damage? Bronze. Bronze is benched. So, the Iron Lance has like. Seven might and the javelin's like six, I think, right? So it's not enough damage to actually get me a kill. I, mean, I wasn't expecting it to actually be pressured like this. I mean, I'm not pro probably not promoting a mage anytime soon, so I guess loot can take the hit, so I can secure the kill. Ah. Loot, it goes down to 13 HP. I think I actually didn't update her HP properly. Yeah, now I think the chipping starts. Once there are, once there are mages around, it gets, this gets really tough. Especially since if I can't one-shot them. Yeah. Anything in the convoy? Nothing good. Alright, let's have... Seth kill these guys. And then we just go to the boss as ASAP. Where's Vanessa? Okay, I need to drop Vanessa. Then rescue drop Erica to the boss ASAP. I guess I could I could try to train a oh, ballista, that's fine. I could try to train um Naomi a little. But is it worth it? <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it. Like, who can I... Ch I guess there actually is some enemies that can... Oh, actually, these guys are have a lot of attack. And there's a bow guy also. It would be kind of dangerous to do. I guess I could if I bring Seth back. I guess I might as well, right? Does this boss actually do anything to me if I attack him? The boss is actually very weak compared to Seth. Oh, I could I could have... Oh, this guy's a javelin. Getting XP on him is going to be a bit of a pain. Promoting Nami could be decent? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Lombos exist? There aren't that many of them, so it's not really very big consideration. 
So yeah, let's bring Seth back and train Naomi a little. Oh wait, I can use Ballista, right? To get XP. Ballista do give you XP, right? So I can have Naomi ride the Ballista, then have her move the Ballista over her, and have her use Ballista for XP. Oh, it can't, it can't cross. <laughs> it can't cross, okay. I mean, I guess it still can if I lure a guy over. Might be fun just to do it once. This guy has 18 attack, and this Ilium has 17 defense. It does not work. I need to bring Seth over. He's only one, only one with enough defense to do this. And do this secret mission. Alright, supply, dump all my items. I guess I could I could promote Gilliam, I'll do that after the after the map ends though. Alright, this guy attacks Seth. We can attack with a ballista for some XP. I should put an X over dead unit portraits. I don't I don't have the time for that. I think it looks fine enough on its own. It's self-explanatory. The health status is. All right. Yeah, I can probably lure these guys out also. They don't don't they can't actually hurt me because I have 22 defense. So I can I can get a bit more XP to Naomi. Yeah, we're good. So what I can do here is I can attack with Naomi, and then duck out. Oh, I don't I don't have any bows left. Oh shit! I forgot to buy more bows. Oh damn it! I'm not gonna have any bows for the next map. Ah fuck! I guess I have to buy more from the convoy. Now, this is kind of this was kind of pointless then. If I can't actually attack with her, I can't I can't finish training her now this chapter though. All right. We got ballista. Oh yeah, that's true, huh? Use the ballista. Optimal strats. I see. Yeah, I I, I could drop her onto the ballista, and then get a bit more XP from that. And we in range. Very nice. He moved into range. One XP. Okay. All right. Oh shit! Luke got hit. Oh damn it! Actually, let's 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 rewind that to see that actually happen. Yeah, I I messed up and Luke got hit. Just got three HP now. Oof. That's bad. Yeah, I think you had to bench loot. Yeah, loot's uh, has a typical amount of HP for a mage of her level. Alright. I think we just gotta seize now. Let's get out of here. I anticipate these mistakes will only get more and more frequent. I mean, stay out of range of Blister though. Can't get Vanessa, can't let Vanessa get shot out of the sky. All right, chapter seven done. Chapter eight time. Make a save state. This for later later use. So here, um, I'm actually really worried about some things. Namely, the fact that um, if I don't hurry, Ephraim's squad will get mobbed and they will just take so many hits. And die, possibly. <laughs> so I think what I need to do here is I need to... First, I need to go to the armory and I need to sell a bunch of garbage. 
Let's. I need to go and sell like all these elixirs. No, these vulnerabilities are useless. I can buy a bow for uh, Naomi. I cannot yet promote, but that's fine. And then after we beat this chapter, that'll be it for today. And then Gilliam gets stuff too. I should buy a steel lance for him though. And uh, what else do I need? Oh, Gilliam, right. That that's what I was forgetting. Alright, let's let's use this. I guess we go general. Just cause. A bit more HP. A secret book on him or something. Like who else is who else is gonna need it? Alright. Let's give Comb his lockpick, I guess. Great show will come in clutch? Possibly, yeah. Alright, let's let's give it a try. The main thing I'm worried about is that is Ephraim getting mobbed. If he gets if Ephraim gets rushed, then we're in trouble. Probably should have brought I probably should have brought loot actually. Now that I think about it. <laughs> That was a mistake to not bring her. Because uh, even though she has 4 HP, she can still do chip damage without taking hits. Alright, let's I think the goal is that you have to charge over to the left ASAP, otherwise Ephraim could be in trouble. Gilliam should be tanky enough to take hits. Loving up his rigged always give health? Nope, it does not. HP growths are, are typical, as you might expect them to be in a normal run. armor here. I think I should be fine though. If I have Naomi attack here, I can probably dodge tank the armor with someone. Alright, let's see what we got here. Trend speed luck. Excellent. Very good level up. Uh, actually, this guy's out of range, so there's no there's no sense in in provoking him when I don't need to. These guys should not be should not be be able to harm Seth or Gilliam, so we can we can move forward without being too without being too concerned. I need, I need to really hurry over to where Ephraim is, otherwise he could die. Is the map the huge XP bonus? Yeah, I think. I mean, the entire early game has huge XP bonuses, right? So we need to hurry. So let's move everyone over. These guys, I don't think they can really hurt Seth because of the Draco shield. All right. Now I'm thinking, I do I back up or do I move in here? Yeah, I back up. I feel I, I let these supports happen. I owe four support. These guys move in. I think they will attack Seth. Remember this map seems specifically being coded to give more XP? I think it's every map before this. This and before give like more XP. Which is why Seth gets like more XP than he deserves a lot of the time. Especially early on. Which is why he's often so good. Oh, 
All right. Boom. Beats this guy. Like this, he doesn't do enough damage. What's the point of Natasha if we can't heal? That's a very good point. It's not really a point using her. William kills. Yeah. I mean, if we, if we don't heal after we get a level up, you don't you don't keep the HP, which is partially why I'm doing it. Okay, so more more set clearing. Very nice. Challenge probably would be a bit more interesting if I didn't use guilt, if I didn't grind, but I think I think the margin of error for all these things is very limited anyway. If I don't do this, I'm probably gonna fuck up and die immediately. <laughs> I think uh, I I would like to go around this room if possible. I guess Seth can clear it, but I think I'll go this way and ferry my Gears over using Vanessa instead. Next map is much harder. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit rough, even with 22 defense on set, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah, eventually I'm going to be able to be hit, even if even with these current defenses, and then I I will probably start dying very fast if I'm not careful. Right, let's kill this guy. Kind of wondering how far I should go though. Been streaming for like a little bit. I kind of want to have like because the first stream in these vods always tends to do pretty well. So I want to have it at a healthy length for people who, who want to watch it. Can't be with only one HP. I mean, strictly speaking, if Seth has 1 HP, he dies in the cutscene, right? <laughs> Doesn't he? I think we back up here and we try to one-shot these calves. Alright, let's kill let's have Ephraim, one-shot a calf with the Regan Leaf. He should be able to. Close to a level up. Not quite, though. Seth takes care of another one. Now, Erica. Do I attack with Erica here? Probably not. I think I just go with Gilliam for the guaranteed no damage kill. Move around, I think. Let's go this way. Have Gilliam take hits because he gets some XP out of it, which is nice. Let's move, let's move everyone over. Very nice. Gilliam attacks this guy and it's probably a kill. If it's not a kill, I'm be, I'd be very surprised. Gilliam has like 19 defense, I think. I think? Yeah, actually 19. We're good. Everyone else moves up. Gotta be a bit careful about that wizard, that druid right over there. I mean, that uh, shaman. Shaman. That's the term.
This shaman has 13 attack, so I think Seth can actually handle him. How do I train your staff users? Uh, four staffs, I guess. Other than that, not really. You don't really get to. Okay. Grab in the sky, and we're good. These guys attack. Seth kills. That's a longbow. Okay. Seth kills this guy. Seth kills this guy. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm feeling like I'm rushing. I'm uh, I don't want to do like another chapter after this. But I'm gonna see if there's uh, if it picks the game picks up again. All right, let's move up here. And we can grab the treasure. Just go over here, we open the door, and then we one-shot the shaman, and we're fine. We're good. Oh, this guy this guy actually hurts me, huh? Wouldn't, wouldn't be great to take that one damage there, huh? Alright. Silver sword. Nice. Certified Arvis chest and a Legion whip, which uh, I don't think is very useful for me because I haven't trained Vanessa at all. Also, she has 10 HP. Alright. So the chest has Angelic Robe? Yeah, I'll, I'll go for it next. There's reinforcements soon, though. I think we should be fine. Yeah, Seth can take this guy out, take no damage. And then we can keep moving up with everyone. Yeah, fire is just pretty easy, it seems. You can just have Seth take no damage forever. That mage, the mage might move. I guess he doesn't. These guys do one damage to Seth. Not ideal, but I can want to keep one shotting them. Wait, did I just get? Okay, I did not get Colm hit there. I, think I, I, should, I should steal the guy's lockpick for so I can use it or sell it. What happened to loot? Uh, she got hit many times, so she's benched now. Got like 3 HP. <laughs> On accident. For the most part. Alright. Mage is moving in. Eve is moving in. And steal from the thief. Okay, not steal from this thief. Oh, my inventory is full, that's why. I think I steal from this guy, and then I rescue off the way. I have Seth move in to kill the thief. See, I can move in, but it's fine. Gilliam can move in to block. Gilliam, zero damage, as expected. Now attack. HP strength. Nice. The mages are moving in. I think what I want to do is I want to take out the mages ASAP because 
They do a bit of damage, and Seth, I don't want Seth taking any permanent damage if possible. I'm forced to back up here, I think. That that flux mage does 15 damage, which is too much for Seth. But this guy does 13 damage, which Seth can ignore. This guy's 13 resistance. How far, far will I go today? I think I can go as far as chapter 9 today. Will Siren be useful? Probably not. When, when is she ever useful? Oh, this, this mage over here has 15 though, that's a bit scary. I think what I want to do here actually is I want to sneak just outside of this guy's range and snipe him. And I can clear the room with Seth and then I can go and grab the Angelic Robe. I missed the Gilly Mage below up? Oh shit. I forgot to heal him. Has he moved yet? Nice crits though. Oh yeah, okay. I can still heal him for it. DMS when? Uh, I might do it again at some point. Right now, it's on hold. Maybe when I don't have other interesting ideas, like other for other actual games. Alright, we can kill this guy. Then we can clear the room and then grab the treasure. I think I'll use the Angelica Robe on Gilliam. Because Seth has enough HP right now. He's fine. Alright, that's... This should be routine. Clear, clear that room. Clear this guy. Hit this guy from outside his range and not take damage because he can actually he actually can hurt me. And then we uh move comb over and grab the treasure. And I think oh, for the boss we just train Nami on the boss, right? I think Navy deserves it. Uh Navy shouldn't need it because Navy shouldn't be taking hits. Helium will be taking hits, and eventually he'll have to fight a mage that he has to fight. Zero damage, of course. He also has a javelin, and he has uh, 14 defense. Damn it! <laughs> I'm exactly one damage off. So what I could do, actually, is I could lure this guy over, and, uh... Train Nami, hopefully get a strength level up. Have a steel bow? Nope. Should have gotten that power ring? You're right. I should have. But alas. Right. Oh wait, I have support. Supports can actually get me over the hump, I think. Because supports with, with Colm gives me plus two damage. Yeah, actually, I actually can do damage. Yeah. She has plus two damage from, from Calm support. So we actually do do actually get it. Oh throne defense, yeah. Throne is like plus three defense. I don't think we I don't yeah. You're right. So I have Comb B Garcia C. I think we I think we can get Comb We can get plus five damage from supports, which actually should be enough to override all those everything, right? If I, if I grind my supports, we, I should be able to get enough damage. Steel one convoy? I do not have a steel bone in convoy. Yeah, I do not have it. So yeah, here is like B support with Naomi and Garcia, then A support with Comb and Naomi. And we should be able to get there and do enough damage and do damage to Tirado. Then we can do one damage hit and then because it's, the damage is permanent. We can we can kill him eventually, and then we can. Uh, I guess we shouldn't promote this early. 
As long as we do like the, the right rescue chains, we're fine. All right, we can go here, we're gonna attack. Here, here we do zero, but like if we if we have more of my supports in, in range, we should do one. I think one damage, exactly one damage. Two damage. Ooh, even better than I thought. Let's go for it. Nice. You can't heal damage? Nope, all damage is permanent, even for enemies. So as you can see, I just damaged the boss, and so his max HP went down. I think uh, I should be able to get like 20 hits in on the boss like this. If I do take out Cole, she might do one damage. No, if I take out Cole, she'll do zero damage. Move one support from max HP. It won't work because uh, one of them gives three, and one of them gives two. So if I remove either of them, I go back down to zero. I can I can remove it once if I get a strength level up, which I did not get. I think I got. Oh, I did. Wait. I got also. I got the HP. Oh yeah. Got the HP level up. HP strength, nice. Now we have enough. So we, we just move out Garcia, then we can attack with just only Coma range. Or one damage a hit. You get XP for doing zero damage? Yes, but not that much, only one XP. I think, right? But here, like, we can get, like, 15, which is much faster. I don't have enough bows to actually, um... I don't have enough bow uses to, to grind out entirely. Oh, I... It's not, it's not economically viable most of the time, but, like, hits to do more, to give, like, many times more XP. Oh, I just realized, I, if I want to maximize my XP, I could also... I could also have her rescue someone to reduce her speed. Like, I can, ha I can rescue Erica. Right? I can, if I rescue Erica, oh, I guess... Who can, who can she rescue? She has five con, I think? You can only rescue Natasha? Okay. I guess that's fine. Yeah, if I do this, I can do it one by one and get 30 hits instead of 15. Because one hit versus two hits is the same amount of XP. Oh, I guess actually this complicates rescuing her away. I, I, it's probably not worth the trouble. Yeah, that's, that's so many more inputs. I'm, I'm not doing that. Oh, hey! Great shield. Can you break the javelin? I guess I could, but what's the what's the point, right? I think with the javelin, he has actually I could break the javelin, but there's no point because the boss can't doesn't heal infinitely because he always takes damage. So no matter what, even even breaking the javelin does not provide that much more additional benefit over just attacking like this. All right. The additional added benefit is not that much. I guess it does... I think I should be able to get like 5 or 6 levels easy out of this anyway, so... We're good. For a while. And then the issue with this is that once I get start getting more strength level ups, I the amount of uses goes down anyway. So, like it's uh, whatever. This is this is I'm only this this is a very limited grind anyway. There's no point in trying to milk it for all it's worth, really. Okay, since I did zero damage that time, I got no XP. Okay. Excellent. Actually, I'm running out of bow uses. I might not be able to kill him if I if you get shield too often. Yeah, actually, holy shit! I actually I don't think I have enough bow uses to kill this guy. 
Because I only, I only, I only bought the one bow. And he has more bow uses than I have HP. Than he, he has, he has more HP than I have bow uses. Yeah, the guy's got like eleven percent chance proccing Pavis, so not great. In crit though, yeah, that's true. Garcia, she does two damage. Yeah, she does three. Actually, if I only have Garcia advantage, she does do two. If I get, if I get very close to the threshold, I might do. I might bring her in. I might bring in Garcia also. If I start really start running out, which uh, it might be soon. Once I get down to four uses, I'll try that. Just to account for additional error. Or misses. Ah. I think we only got like we didn't we didn't even get that much out of this. Oh, that's a great shield. Double great shield. Come on, come on, man. Come on, motherfucker. A double great shield. All right, let's, let's send in send the cavalry. I mean the uh the, the assists. Another pavis. Motherfuck. I mean at least I did damage, so that's fine. HP, very nice. Let's top. Let's top her off. Rescue. Take drop. Nimi can now get the kill, hopefully. If she doesn't, well, that's funny. Hey, crit. There we go. That's a bad Nami. That's a, that is a tautology, right? It's like saying, like... <laughs> bad Nami? Nami is just bad. Yeah, I mean, this is a bad Nami. You're, you're right. <laughs> All right, that's chapter 8 done. Excellent. Let's, let's make a save state really fast. Let's get through this. Let's go to Erica route. I think if I go FM route, I'll die. I'm very afraid of Phantom Ship. I don't want to do Phantom Ship. Alright. So, uh... Plans, plans. Okay. Gilliam gets the... Gets the Angelic Robe. Going up to 34 HP. Actually, for anyone who's ever taking damage, I should set their HP bar to yellow to make it more clear and have more variety here. Like, Seth actually has taken damage. HP bar is yellow. Uh, Naomi is now at... How much? Naomi is now at 20 HP, I think? 22. Let's update her HP. Naomi, where is Naomi? Alright. All the HPs are up to date. Alright. Oh shit, wait. Wait, hold on a second. I'm going to rewind this. I need to go to the shop before I did that. And since I caught it before I actually went to end accounts, right? Uh, I guess we have to... Gotta enter the skirmish and leave. Am I doing chapter 9? Yes, I am. Please stick around if you want to see it. Let's go buy another bow. Oh, 10k. Nice. Let's go buy a steel bow and an iron bow. 
What tower grind do I have planned this time? I'm not, I'm not doing tower this time. I feel like the tower kind of cheapens the other grinds, you know? I'm like, um, unless... I, oh, I will only do tower if I want to get rune swords, I guess. That's the plan. I'm not doing it for XP. Kind of messed up how the skirmishes always show that the place you've been to before has been destroyed. Yeah, that's true. That is pretty messed up. Yeah, it's time to do chapter 9, Distant Blade. Will these streams be every Thursday? Probably not, no. I might do this, do a Sunday stream instead. I think uh, I could bring loot. Yeah, I should bring loot. She's better. Even though she has like 3 HP, she still does chip damage better than most units. And I guess I should bring Arter also. Like, all the physical combat units not as useful as I thought initially. That's because they always take they always take counters. Which is bad for their HP. I anticipate doing uh, a before on Saturday? Yes. That is the plan. Alright, let's not think too hard. It's just, 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 it's just this game, right? So, there's an Ocean Seal, which you can use for remote comb. I want it, but I also want the Draco Shield. I'm going to charge in. The Sniper, there's a Sniper that's really scary over here. I'm a bit worried because he does a lot of damage. I think I should be fine. I take it like one damage from him. Yeah. But as long as they hurry, I should be fine. Last time I had troubles because I was doing like literally zero damage. Most of my characters. Because like that was a zero strength run. But here I should be fine because I actually have some decent units. There's an immediate exploit I can use? Right, it's it's like uh, taking her speed wing and then uh, letting her leave so then she can give you another speed wing, right? The issue here is I don't think I think I'm fine on speed, honestly. I don't really None of all my units are fast enough. Amelia will carry Copium. I don't think Amelia is carrying anything. All right, this this is an, another Angelic Grove ch chapter. This it's gonna be a bit tough because like actually getting the robe is gonna be really hard because navigating around the pirates will be very difficult here. Right, the pirates, if they, they can really kill... Normally, you would take some hand axes hits from the, from, the, from the pirates, if you're not careful. That's very typical, and uh, I don't think I can afford to take any hand axes hits from the pirates, because then my e would just die. So, like, I think there, I can put the needle a little here with, with the fire on this tile. Oh, exactly. Not hit, not hit, cannot hit, not hit. I can sneak. I can sneak through just barely. Should be able to. Um, I think I need to keep sneaking and try to and try to land a killing blow on that strong sniper, or he can react because otherwise he'll hit me for uh, some damage, which is not ideal. I don't want. I don't want to take any damage if I if I don't have to. I'm supposed to slow her down. That is true, but. I'm hoping, she, I'm hoping that she doesn't get hit at all. Oh, you, oh, you mean Amelia? Oh shit! Oh no, Anna! Ah shit! Forgot about that. Damn it! Anna. Oh, she got doubled. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, that's that's that bad. Down to six HP already. I get when I rush. Ah fuck. <laughs> Now this guy is actually is, is his range concerning. I think if I go here, I should be fine. I should be out of range of him, right? Then I can sneak in and then try to grab the village really fast. I might I might not be able to get it actually. This mage has 12 damage, so I should be able to. It's not enough actually to do for set. I can now kill this guy. This this strong sniper. Yeah, I'm not using it. looks like I'm not using any flyers here. <laughs> and for a, a l very l l long amount of time. Because they just keep getting hit. 
I mean, if they get hit, they can't they can't really use them, huh? Harder, harder kills here. What damage has that taken so far? He's taking like one damage or something, but for the most part, he's only taking damage from Vulture. I think he's actually taking like no damage at all. He, he took damage and then he healed back, so I'm still counting that as having, having taken damage. So as long as they stay out of range of this mage, Helium is okay to move forward. This guy has 18 attack, we're good. We have 19 defense. Now, I think uh, I just I should... Let's speed kills. Maybe gets a kill. I think I'll probably bow her into Sniper. Just because I just want her to keep using bows and swords are just not as good in this run. Categorically. I think I can probably chase down this pirate, though, without needing to worry too much. Uh, other than that, I think I need to... Just what I could do is I could try to lure out this pirate by having Ana move in here. Wait, she has 6 HP? Yeah, 6. Okay. This guy goes for Gilliam, we're fine. Has better stats, that is true, but move doesn't matter as much for me, I think. Sniper has more HP, you see, and more strength. Also, bull rank. Getting actually, getting actually enough rank might be difficult. Holy shit! Did I? Did I fail to get the Draco shield? Oh man, there goes a there goes the angelic rope, huh? I really didn't I really didn't move fast enough. Shame. Damn it. I didn't I didn't get it. I didn't manage to get the angelic rope. I mean granted here is not not nearly as big of a deal because it's like not taking one hit. So the actual amount of added value is lower. Attack, which is like attack Seth, right? I hope that's what happens. I can't be sure. Like, it's no, uh, I really don't know. Hey, loot, loot kill. Move up further. I think this guy... Issue is if I send a Vanessa, she's gonna die. If I sacrifice Vanessa's life for a rapier, I think these guys will destroy the villagers anyway. This can't exit out just murder me. 17 attack. That's it for a Draco field. Ooh, you're right, I could do that. And I don't want to sack from Vanessa though. I think Rescue Drop Utility is more useful. And I can't get both of these at the same time. Yeah, oh well, I'm just giving up on it. I'm just giving up on it. So be it. 2H, 2 defense is not enough to sacrifice unit 4, I think. Even if it's a bad unit that can't actually fight. Rapier and the Angelic Robe, and there goes Draco Shield. Yeah, I couldn't have gotten the Angelic Robe anyway. There was not enough room to get it. And so I'm, yeah, that's fine. 
All things considered, an okay loss. Kill this guy with loot. Oh, actually yes, but also shut up. Uh, that's three hit. That doesn't happen. Three three percent hits don't happen. Let's keep moving. Uh, Amy, I'll probably get a double on this guy. I think. I'm not. In that case, I think I swing Seth back up to kill this guy. Be safe. Double T wings for compensation. I guess I could. Oh, we'll call Roll into probably assassin. I mean, I don't really need the rogue utility. Right? It's not like this. I think rogue is just worse combat, right? I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Yeah, assassin is just better combat wise, but only by one HP and one con more. But it gives, it gives more weapon rank, which is nice. I don't really have the luxury to train weapon rank very easily. Because combat is hard to do. Without risk. Where's the where's the ocean seal guy? He's one of these guys, right? Yeah, I think I'll need to swing around to get him later. I think Gilliam having a kill count of yes, that is, that's true. They are the main combat units of this run. Yeah, the utility of rogue is like literally useless. There's no point in going rogue because like who who actually is running out of, of like door keys in Nefi 8? I mean, come on, it's like an utter impossibility. Like, do you want? Like save 150 gold on like dorkies, or do you want a very slight amount of extra HP? The utility in FBA is really like. Low. <laughs> That's a lot of dudes. It's gonna be hard to push through them with, without, like, with any, any character except Seth, pretty much. Alright, let's keep pushing through with Seth. Great name for a bonus. Basically the same thing as uh, general. I guess like there's a reason to go for it over paladin, I guess. But general like has more HP, which is like very slightly better, especially if movement isn't super important to you. At least in this case. Paladin and great knight have identical defense bonuses, really. Oh, it was that. I thought you were talking about Great Knight and uh, General. Oh, Paladin has like. Oh, yeah, you're right, huh? Hmm. Great Knight has a bit more con, though. Yeah, I didn't know Paladin has plus two defense. I guess the main difference is the movement thing. And axes, I guess, but axes aren't very good in this game. It's more about the aesthetic, I suppose. Yeah, I think in, in FE8, actually, it, Paladin also gives plus two defense. At least for Ford. I think it might be a bit... Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's the same, actually. No, it's plus one. Oh, I see. It's plus one for Amelia. Plus one from Paladin for, for Amelia, and plus two for Great Knight. But for... Um, but for male cavaliers, uh, it's it's the same. 
female calves, it's um, which is basically just Amelia. It's a uh, plus one versus plus two. These guys have fire and elf fire. Amelia is. I need to talk to her. I need to move it fast. Yeah, I think the the just the 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 class spaces for some units are just of uh, some. The uh, female versus male classes are slightly different. Yeah, I, I just checked, and like Amelia gets plus one from Cav to Paladin, plus two from Paladin to, uh, from Cav to Great Knight. But Ford and Franz and Cow, they all get um, they all get different amounts. I think I keep going here. I just avoid the Elfire guy, and I should be good. Great Knight's attack in a great way? I mean, like, by drifting? The Drift Knights? Oh shit, that guy does damage to me. Decreased health stays across levels? Yes. All damage is permanent. Like, period. If you take damage, then uh, that damage is dealt your max HP. I think I have Death move down and kill this Hellfire guy. I guess that's holding without damage then. Dodge grinding. By not getting hit, you can still get 1 XP. A pop. I think here, against these guys, I want to use my support bonuses. I didn't bring motor, huh? I should be able to tank these guys. So Gilliam can do some tanking. Not this guy though. Wait, how much? Yo axe? Iron axe? 22. 21. Oh, these guys are a bit worrying. Okay, so as long as I get rid of the steel axe guys, it should be fine though, right? I can javelin this guy. Nice. Oh shit. Doesn't really have the sword uh, because I forgot to give him one. And oh, we can finish this guy off. He can probably dodge tank a little bit. If he gets hit, I'll just be very mad about it and say that dodge tanks are bad. Safely put Naomi anywhere to support, so we've got to retreat with everyone else. Bone was gonna take a bunch of hits, I think. But he should be fine, he has a lot of dodge. That goes for Gilliam, takes no damage. They get any stat XP? Basically, just only like. You really don't. You really don't get any staff XP. percent hit and that's fine zero percent hit yeah we're good we're good <laughs> five percent hit yeah no way there's no way no way just impossible all right i think what i do now is i very wait what turn is it what turn does amelia leave Leaves on turn 11, so I have one more turn. I might not be able to reach her because I was playing too slow. I think what I could do here is I could rescue drop. I can lure Amelia out by taking Seth's weapons. That's the plan. So here I go take, I drop Erica here, and I have Seth deposit all his shit into the convoy. And then this way, if everything moves up, I can talk to her with Erica. Now, I think what I do here is, um... Amelia moves? I think she will, she, will, she will move to attack. I 
think here what I do is against these guys, I just attack like this. That she doesn't. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Really, Garcia can attack here. Get Coleman's promo item here. Yeah, you do. The Ocean Seal. Oh. HP on on on, on uh, Garcia. Very nice. Uh, he might take a hit though. That's a problem. Yeah. We could rescue him though. And then we're fine. Because uh, I don't think William takes any damage here. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, she, she does move. I see. It seems like you are misinformed that she does not not move. Does not not... She, she does move. She does move. As you can see from the evidence here. Alright, now we can talk to her and get her speed wing. Oh, don't attack her. Mila is now recruited. Uh, she's bad. Case closed. Right. Let's keep attacking for some uh, extra HP. And for extra damage. Then we can do some chip. And we cannot here. Let's kill the Gilliam. Now we just wait until these pirates die. Yeah, Comb is not going to get hit by a 2% hit. If he does, I'll be very mad, but it's not going to happen. Any sort of plans to make Amelia good? Not really. So Garcia has a bit of HP that he can now gain by healing. By healing. Oh, Arter also has the HP, huh? When did Arter get the HP? Where is Arter? On the chart, there we go. It's 20 HP now, very nice. But other than that, just wait for them to move in. Zero hit, nice. Thank you, support bonuses. All right, let's keep going. So uh, I think that's a namey kill for sure. The other guy, we can't really secure the kill with anyone. What is Amelia in range? Nah, she's not. I guess uh, we can heal Garcia. Putting up to 29 HP. And then we can get the kill with like Arter, I guess. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh wait. <laughs> Damn it. I thought he had less HP. Ah, shit. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, damn it. Artist, artist brick now. Oh, he had like 2 HP. I fucked up. Ah, man. All my mages are getting bricked. Quick to find post, nah. Nah, I'm not gonna do that this run. Alright, now we can Ocean Seal. And go to Assassin. You know, may just have one durability. They have two durability, actually. They can take two hits. Normally, it's like two hits before the heal, but here it's two hits total. <laughs> I have 31 HP on Calm, very nice. Where's Combs? Where is Comb? There we go. 31 HP. Excellent. All 
All right. How do we do this now? So we have um, 20 HP hand axe guys, axe reavers. I think what we can do is we can theoretically train Amelia. We have enough staff uses to give her the HP level ups if she needs, them, if she wants them. Right? Theoretically, we could do that. And we have we have 14 staff staff uses for 14 HP level ups for sure. I think other than for the most part, we probably should just prioritize. We should we should give kills to Naomi. We can tank hits with uh with su with supports and also with just like taking hits. Uh, ideally, we have Seth not do any damage because then he just takes all the kills, and then I can't feed the XP. Not ideal. Not an ideal circumstance, you see. Alright. Oh wait, shit. I, I just got Natasha hit. I need to rescue her out. Yeah, we're good. Disaster averted. I kind of like this run a lot mo more than most of my runs, just because there's more permanent stakes, even if the stakes aren't that, like, that major, right? But, like, the mistakes actually do add up here. <laughs> Instead of completely being wiped away immediately. I, I kind of like how I like the attrition. Can I use enemy control glitch? Uh, probably not. I've already done the bit a, a several times, so I don't think it's as funny. To do it over and over. You know what I mean? When I do strategies, I do it because I think they're interesting. And if uh, since I played FE8 so much, if I do it again, it might not be that interesting. You, you get what I mean? Will Mira, Mira still exist? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the time, Mira actually takes zero damage. She actually just doesn't take any damage for the most part. Oh shit! Oh no! Erica! Oh, okay. Oh man. I got a chance for, for three, two, three fourths of my HP there. Fuck. That was spooky. That should not have happened, also. What would happen if you made a Gorgon omelette? I don't fucking know. It's a, it's, it's like a fantasy creature. I don't know how it would taste. Name me kill? Can you thoroughly grind if Gorgon eggs if you do exactly five damage? I don't actually. Maybe. I mean, it's. I don't actually, I don't, I don't know, huh? Gorgon eggs hatch only when they get a full HP, so I guess, but it's gonna be hard to limit your damage. Most of the time, you just kind of kill them. All right, let's javelin this guy. Miss, of course. Yeah, training Amelia is such a huge pain because you have to depend on 40% javelin hits most of the time. And it just becomes, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> The immediate experience? More like the immediate lack of experience. Got him. Are we doing general immediate? Probably Paladin this time, I think. Probably Paladin, just because... If, I, if I'm doing Amelia, I might do Paladin Amelia. That's for the extra move. As much as like I, I'm saying I don't need move, I don't need move, here I might actually need some move. Because all my calves are like, they're all like... Severely wounded. Are all Gorgon eggs going to immediately hatch? Oh wait, yeah, hold on a second. They might, because I think their max HP gets set <laughs> to their current HP. Then they hatch at their max HP. Oh shit, that might happen. They might hatch, they might all hatch instantly. That's gonna be fucked up. <laughs> That'll be really funny. <laughs> That's a really funny interaction. <laughs> That's amazing. That's top tier content. They don't enter combat? I think it happens whenever they wait. 
So I think here what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um... Yeah, I, I can tank both these guys and I can have, I can feed Amelia or Amelia kills or I can feed kills to anyone. Nine. All right. All right. More XP. It's gonna take a bit. Nice. No HP. Level up. It's gonna take a hot minute to do. Skill, speed, res. No HP. Okay, this guy is doing the awkward dance and moving moving before attacking, so I'm going, to, I'm going to need to follow him to make the attack, making it slightly more inconvenient to grind XP off him. So be it. He's wave dashing. <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. Says the, the man who died had his second rodeo. Still no HP, okay. It's fine. There's this guy who does 14 damage, and that's enough damage to make me a bit scared. So I'm just gonna kill him. But I think what I can do is I can uh I can just use what like a slim lance and then run. This way I can drag some enemies. I can leer enemies. I go here, I, I kill this guy in one hit, and I hopefully drag a few enemies to, to feed. If there are Gorgons, where are the Gorgoths? Excellent going back to his roots for the Slim Lances. What's, what's, what is a Slim Lance joke even about? I actually don't even remember. Was it, was it the, uh, the Zero Strength? Runs? I don't remember now. In a bit. In a hot minute. Uh, this one FEA blind? Ah, oh, right. Ah, oh, right. That was a long time ago. I see. You're, you're some of uh, vintage fans. Oh, <laughs> what did I did find for the FEA? You gaslight, you gaslighted me and you tried to. Thinking I bought a bunch of slim lances. Yeah, that was. That was an experience. It was a. Uh, that was also the time when I was doing the the chat TTS. It was it was very much an an, an auditory nightmare, so to speak. Bring back the blind run. I don't know. It's it, there are some things that are just too physically taxing for me to do these days, like streaming with with the uh, streaming with with my full setup is like I used to be able to tolerate it because like. I was more eager to do it, but now I'm. It's it's too tiring for me to do. Like I just, I, I it's, it's, it's like physically tiring for me. And then I just, uh, the issue then is that if it's just tiring, that's fine. But the issue then is that it also like makes all the other parts of streaming harder, right? Physical exertion is not is not a big deal, but it makes it, it, it it's there's a trade-off between that and like actually playing well, <laughs> unfortunately. Playing well and interacting with chat. Not having peripheral vision is not great for interacting with chat. Oh, HP level up, yo. Uh, I need to get into heal though. It's gonna be slightly inconvenient. I mean, that's 17 HP. So fucking strong. I think she's really easy to train, all things considered. Just. Just attack a, a trap an archer and attack him. This is like the literal Dono training experience in Fire Emblem Awakening Lunatic, right? This is literally how you're intended to train these units. It's the same thing like how they intend to, you to use snap spam. Is that's not a, that's not like an exploit. Snap spam is very much intended an intended mechanic. 
Like the developers themselves from Intelligent Systems have like said like, yeah, if you won't need a bunch of eggs, you just like just like sit in a spot and spam stabs for a bit, right? They don't use those exact words, but that's, that's the that's the idea. Like a lot of these exploits, like if if they, if they weren't intended, they would be patched out, right? I mean, granted, you can't patch a game this old, and they wouldn't, but that's uh. Some exploits are left in as little treats for the player, right? You can have a little, you can have a little bit of a degenerate grind as a treat. Just a little bit. Don't. All right, let's block here. Seth moves with the block, and Amelia moves into attack with their Slim Lance. Level up, let's go. You can pat they technically can patch it for an for NSO. Why would they why would they though? This is, okay, I don't know. It's it's a, it's uh there's no point in discussing it. Does grinding a zero for half day count as a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, I, I, gr I grinded her across two days. Oh shit, oh hey! That is a Natasha level up. That is nice. I'm not sure if I can take advantage of it though, because I can't really... Oh wait! I made Volan Raids heal one! So I can have her use a Volan Raid to get her level. Amelia is 19 HP now. Natasha is 11 HP once I heal her. Yeah, I, I can use this Voter Ray to heal for one. Go! Uh, Natasha is now... Wait. Uh... They moved the wrong character. Now 11 HP. Ooh. Demon King, watch out! And you need to what are votaries? They're like, they're like uh, the, the the thing like, they're like, I don't know. They're like twenty eight dollar Pokemon cookies. I don't fucking know. Just imagine, imagine like, imagine any kind of like, any kind of like overpriced grifting thing, and that's what it is. That's what vulnerabilities are in this universe. It's healthy for you, you see? Alright. 71 XP? What if Amelia's good in general? But, but she's not. So those archers don't move, I think. So we can, um... Yeah. Yeah, Amelia Grand is actually pretty fast, I think. Orange peels? Yeah, so vulnerabilities in this universe are made by uh, taking... A, a a a medicinal herb and then diluting it ten times and then diluting that ten diluting that ten times, going one into ten thirty times, and by doing this, it increases its potency by having not a single molecule of the original active ingredient. It's mostly like it's mostly a uh, it's 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 a homeopathic vulnerary. Describing homeopathy? Yes, yes, I was. Hey, 21 HP. How does she still have 5 strength? Bruh. Wait. That, can, that can't be right. Her strength can't be that bad. 35% strength growth? She has missed 8... She's only got 1 strength level up in the entire... What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on a second, what? Serial dilution? I mean, that that is what... 
That is the nature of homeopathy. Is literally the na the practice of diluting chem diluting active agents and then saying that they are now more stronger because of it. It is completely nonsensical. It's bath water, <laughs> homeopathic bath water. Let's go. Is it strength 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 goes forty percent? I think it's thirty five. I think she she's uh. She's very, she's just very strength screwed. Only one below average, really, huh? Guess she's just bad then. This is fun. Gonna head out. Yeah, thanks for watching. Makes total sense because I isolate each molecule and then take it to the broccoli. Ah, uh, yes, a single molecule. My favorite. It's based on the memory of water. Then like. Memory of water? Does does the water r r remember like all, all all the shit it's been through? Am I staying hydrated? Actually, I have not been staying hydrated. Thank you for reminding me. Oh hey, level up. It's because I've been too like I haven't even be, haven't even been able to drink my coffee today. It's because I haven't had time. Water is PTSD. Uh, still one point below average. Okay. So I think we can feed this last kill to Naomi. But yeah, Amelia's cap. She's now a level, level ten recruit and will become a a cavalier in the next map. Yeah, she. I don't think she has enough defense to really go into night. Five defense. Yeah, no way. Five defense general moment. Water got that dinosaur pee in it. No. Water got that, like, literal pee from the guy down the street from, from 30 days ago memory in it. It's actually speed blessed? Oh, it's 9 speed. That's actually a li li little nice. Uh, now the issue now is I cannot train Naomi on these archers hilariously because um, they're both all two range. That's kind of dumb. Who do I train then? I mean, I can't train immediately. Though. She's already trained. Training these guys is kind of pointless because they have no HP. I guess Garcia? Yeah, let's just kill them with Seth and then we can feed the boss kill to Naomi. I think it's more it's easier that way, just to make things simple. Because Amelia's crafty based defenses won't be saved by promo tonight. Better off taking her into cab for movement. I think, generally speaking, for optimality's sake, you should take her into cab anyway. Like, most people's arguments online are generally correct. But like, the only reason you go for knights is because they have high base defense for the most part. Alright, so what we can do here is we can attack with a bow and then uh, rescue away. That's the plan. Yeah. We attack with a bow and rescue away so the boss is not bringing out his bow. Generals are fun for the sprites, but for the most part, they are like strictly inferior to most classes. The, the the thing is that like uh, an FE eight doesn't really matter because the game's easy enough anyway. You kind of do whatever, and the differences are not really that substantial. It's not really that big of a decision. It's like yeah, you want you you okay with missing out on like two stats? I mean that's fine. It's not it's not gonna make a big difference. It's kind of like I don't know. I feel like this is this is the kind of thing that people will like. Maybe there are games where it makes bigger differences, but I feel like if the challenge doesn't really match the necessity for customization, then like... I think the question is like, what's the point, right? Maybe this is the question for genealogy, right? What's the point of all this inheritance if the game is really so easy you can beat it with just Sigurd and Seleph, right? What's the point of all that inheritance? I guess people love the customization and the planning, 
even if the plane does it ends up being completely unnecessary. I guess our ranked run is kind of necessary, but yeah, whatever. I'm not sure where I'm going with this. I feel like a lot of the time, Fire Emblem is more about enjoying the planning aspect than actually like needing it, needing it for anything. Right? We all love these like, ah, I'm gonna invest for the future, right? But then like, we don't actually need it. So like, was it? Do we actually need to do that? I mean, probably not. But the process of investing for the future and making long-term plans is in, is in itself enjoyable, which is why we do it. Just for its own sake, even though we know it's not going to be rewarded. Right? Leave the FE4 complaining for the FE4 stream. Else, what am I going to do during all the walking during FE4? Oh, so true. You're right. I, I can't I can't use up all my all my material here. But yeah, I don't know. FE4, Fire Emblem is more about like it's about long term planning. That's why people hoard because ah, I got a plan for the future, right? I got a plan for the future now. I must, I, I I will suffer now so I can benefit in the future. But then they don't benefit in the future. It's like, what's the point? I mean, granted, the the nature of just plan thinking about anticipating the future plans is in itself satisfying, right? And yeah, that's that's where I'm going with it. All right, we got the level up and we finished the map. Ah, only 3 HP. Very nice. I have taken a swig. Thank you for the reminder. And that's chapter 9 done. And I think uh, maybe that's a good point to leave off. I think I've been shaving for like 5 hours. 5 and a half hours? A little bit? Yeah, I think this is a nice point to leave off. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for coming everyone. Remember to like the video so I can get more engagement. Because whenever I do one of these like big streams, I think people really like to check out the stream. So if you can do this, leave a comment, whatever. I see there's still a lot of you here, so I might as well like say that. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Do do all that garbage so I can uh so more people can see this and I can benefit slightly from it. And then you can benefit because there's more people to enjoy the thing that you enjoy, right? It's a win-win-win scenario. And then YouTube likes it because they get money. And yeah. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah. Uh, I'll probably try to stream this again like next su Sunday, I think. Probably not not like in, not in a few days Sunday. It's like next week. Saturday will be FE4. I'm going to make put out some FE4 videos in the meantime. Then next week, I'll probably start doing this more consistently. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on that next time. Very fun stream. Very, very fun idea, I think. Right? I'm actually really enjoying this. There's a uh, lot to think think for, because it's all like planning for the future, right? That's the idea. Even even though my, it's like about anticipating possible challenges. Yeah, it's time to uh, do Thanksgiving stuff now. Oh yeah, I know. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.